the uh, February 24th and 25th. Oh, uh, bro, we went last year, was it? Oh, or the year passed. before? Passed, no, I didn't. Yeah, no, yeah, like the... Weekend. Well, that the, was the, the kids one, I think. No, that was the no I don't think so. so it's it's not on that board, guys. Bro, the February 24th, 25th. Yo, what is up, fam? Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, Oh, that reminds me of that cop. Yo, wait till you guys see this post Omar's gonna put up. Last night, we seen this motorcycle. He Dude. was running in front of the cops. Buddy was doing like a buck 60 down the road. 160 miles. Our hour. whole car, his My Tesla, Tesla got shook. it on camera. Yeah, yeah, it recorded it in several different cameras. Yeah, it was really cool. cool. It was like, <laughs> it, that was exactly what it was like. And you know what's crazy is literally maybe seconds before we were in that lane, we would have been split in two. He if, literally just had gotten over. Like, there's no way he could have stopped. No. The messed up part is I was sitting in the middle mm -hmm. and the bike would have came right through me and split me in half. Yeah. If you guys don't know, this is Carlos. He's got a channel called... Ow. I know. Uh, Carlos, what's his name? Channel? Um, It's Carlos the Fam. Carlos the Fam. Yeah, he changed yeah. his name to Carlos the Fam. Carlitos so sure Way before. It. Oh, yeah, it used yeah, to be yeah, Carlitos Carlos. Way. He's Al Capone, ladies and gentlemen. Just hey, he kind of looks like. Uh, well, shout out to my boy Carlos. That's my he, brother from another mother. You guys yeah. do look like brothers. Yo, huge shout mother. out to Carlos, man. Yeah, he got a like promotion Carlos. at work today. Oh, he did get it. Yeah, and his oh. and his birthday's in a few days, so that was like oh. amazing. I was so happy. Hey, Carlos, you shout me out, up man. So happy. Like, oh. it was, dude, like almost I'm so like happy in for tears. Him. Yeah. What's uh -huh. up, everybody? It's, so cool. it's your boy. I can't say hi a whole lot. It's your boy Mo Sargi. Mo Sargi. Yeah, Mo Sargi and Carlos. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, no, I put both their links in the description if you're new. Obviously, my boy Omar, and that is Alligator Capone oh, back there. Like it's Al Capone. Alligator, oh, dude, I, I like actually that like too. it too. Alligator, Alligator Capone. Bro, Alligator you should do that. Capone. And go Guys, to, there might be a new name coming soon. Oh, I told him he should yeah. change his channel name because, like, I can't even find his channel because it's called Al Capone. But he spells it Al yeah. Capone, and instead it's of an E at the end, it's a three. The three is a And I can never e. remember. It's a backwards E, yeah. yeah. Bad channel name because I can't even find it. Bro, I, I like to find alligator Capone. I do <laughs> like it, dude. But, but change that alligator Capone. Shit. Yeah. Like make, yeah, yeah. make it an actual E. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Capitalize the A L and alligator also. So like capitalizes Al. Yeah. You That's like smart. that? I like that. Yeah. What do you guys? Well, I'm gonna read your you should, read your comments. Let me know what like, you think of that. You should get a logo that's like an alligator. And we're from Florida, so it's like yeah. Oh, it's exactly. Perfect. It is perfect. We're from the swamplands. Heck yeah. Live chat. Let's see who is here. Damn, bro. You like you picked that out of your ass real quick. I did. Just like them wedges. <laughs> oh, bro, funny story real quick. Oh, yeah. So this... just the other day, I was at this uh, casino with this guy over here. And um, damn, I, I want to say I was playing roulette. I was playing roulette. And he was playing blackjack. And I'm sitting there every time I stand up to put chips on the roulette wheel. <laughs> I was He's actually I was with this guy, and he was yeah. actually winning a ton of money at the time. Anyways, I think the the, the like, pit boss got mad because he kept winning over and over and over. Well, uh, like, uh, like fifteen hundred bucks. Are you saying yeah, you had a lucky streak? He did. He had a lucky streak going. No, no, no. You were giving him that lucky streak. Oh yeah, I gave him the lucky streak. The right. lucky line. Anyways, the pit boss comes up to me, and he wasn't really nice either. He's like. Excuse me, can you stop showing your ass to my camera? <laughs> He's like the security the security people keep on calling down and complaining because all they see is your ass cracking in the in the video. <laughs> I didn't know there's a damn camera right behind me like <laughs> Hey, there's a crack in their security. There's a crack in their security. I like it. I like it. True. Breaching the system. So I do apologize. I was supposed to have some videos up for you guys last week and um we were just so busy doing a bunch of stuff and Right now, we're actually headed to a location to film another video for you guys. And uh, I'm really excited. I also have the Miami Mall video, uh, the Alien video, finally coming out very soon. Um, I'm going to try to tomorrow. get that out tomorrow. Yeah, 100% tomorrow. tomorrow is coming. What is tomorrow, Friday? I got, I got one coming out tomorrow, too. Is tomorrow Friday? Yeah, this is where we did interviews. Yeah, we interviewed, we interviewed people. store owners. We interviewed security. Mm. And we got some really good responses. We even interviewed we a did. homeless man that witnessed something that was never like shown Reported on the news and stuff, or nothing. Yeah. And that was a good interview. And what's crazy is I left this mall after talking to all these witnesses and I kept having the same question in my head after each one. This is a question I kept wanting to get answered. And I ended up leaving there that day or that night and still having those questions. And later that night we were at a casino I think it was the same same night i think anyways so we we went there and no kidding 
like I talk to this guy randomly and he starts telling me that like this fight that these kids supposedly had got into it's been happening every year the last several years as a matter of fact Omar interviewed somebody on his video that actually had footage of the fight the previous year um, on the same day, on January 1st. You couldn't find it on his phone. Though. Right. Yeah. Well, this guy ended up telling me he knew exactly what was happening there. And it's going to blow your mind what actually happened that night. Um, and I, I could just tell you one little snippet information. Think Project Bluebeam. Is that what it's called? Yep. Think Pro if you know, you know. That's all I can say. If you know, you know. If you don't, you'll. I'll, I'll explain later. Maybe we'll make a video on it. Let us know if yeah. you want. Yeah. Well, that's what my second video is going to be. So my first video is all the interviews, and it leaves off like with this one question. And that one question, after I talked to this guy, all my questions were answered, and I knew exactly what happened down at the Miami Mall, and what happened with the whole alien thing. Um, no one is actually. I'm sure some people have maybe stumbled upon or mentioned something that might be similar. But no one has talked about this, um, and it's. I have proof. I have 100% proof, and I can't wait to put it out and see what you guys think, because that's what really matters. So, yeah. What do you think, Al? I think it's gonna be awesome, man. Yeah. Let's check out the video. Heck yeah. Did you guys ever get any security footage? Uh, we're working on. No, well, something like that. We're working on getting the videos from the cop cars, from the the body cams and stuff. What's got there, buddy? Some uh, cheddar fries. Cheddar fries. I used to eat these in middle school, man. They're so good. Do you ever, do you ever get these for the hot Who's fries? that in the back seat? That is Al Capone with an E at the end of it. Yeah, but instead of an E, it's gonna be alligator Capone. Alligator Capone. What is up, guys? Let me say hello to some of my friends. My say family. Hello to my some of my friends. What's up, Tigger Tiger Tail? Yeah, those used to be the bomb, bro. You notice like your taste buds change as you get older? Yeah, oh like, for boy, sure. You remember those strawberry shortcake ice creams? Like I love them, but I feel like they tasted I'm gonna so do something. Hang better. on a second. I'm gonna do something with this. Um Hey, can I use your phone to read comments? Yeah. Uh, bro, you just connected to my freaking what? map. I didn't touch do uh, anything. You just touched my phone. I did not touch your phone. You no wait. What are you talking about, bro? My phone was right here and you touched it. I messed my map up. I did not touch his phone. You're such a jackpot. Why would I touch your phone? Jackpot. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm right, trying to go. see where I can put this. That's what she said. <laughs> That's actually a good one. Let me get the right angle so I don't have to just keep moving the camera around so much. That could be another. That's what she said, Joe. I think right about what is good. It, right there. So yeah. That's good. Not bad. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Can I, uh, Whoa. Wow. Can I read some comments on there? No. Oh, Al, can I use your phone? Yeah, I got you. Thanks, I'm man. I'm kidding. I was gonna... No, it's okay. I got a friend in the back seat. I, I, I know who my real friend is. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, the title of this, what Omar is making us do, is uh, another video. Of so that we could go film it and then never edit it or edit it in like three months from now and finally put it up facts facts bro we have so many videos we made like we so do. many videos that's what i'm saying we have so many videos to put out right now it's crazy it's just finding time to edit them all well you know what the crazy thing is though i take that back bro you know we still have some of those unedited videos like yeah. the clown motel well that one wasn't no edit but you have the you have a bunch of them unedited. We should get one of those out. After. I literally got like maybe 15 or 16 videos that we that filmed. Much? But I mean, me personally, just because I have like I filmed a lot. But there's some videos that we filmed recently that we need to like the the alien videos. Oh, bro, the Robert the Doll video. That was amazing. That was an awesome yeah. video. You want to get so that, that out after this? Um, can you? Do um, that? Yeah. Maybe. I say after we put the Miami Mall video up. Uh, some weird shit happened in that one. Bro, it did, yo. Like, okay, so. It's never happened before. No. We were by, I'm not going to give it away, but we were by Robert the Doll, and something crazy happened, and we ended up having to talk to the lady at the front desk and ask her, because I thought it would be a normal thing that happened, 
because it was so abnormal. And she was like, no, she was I've like, never, never had any, before. no one ever said anything that, that that ever happened. And it was, it happened several times to us. Yeah. At least three times. Only what, it only happened like after at the end when we like were hanging with Robert the doll and we started doing a spirit box session. The footage is a little shaky. It, it is? Cause I mean. Oh, you mean from my live stream? Yeah. Oh, cause the car's cause bumping? Cause the car's bumping. I don't know. You wanna know an interesting Let me try this. I got another doll. idea. What? What's that? His hair actually changed colors as he got older. They said. His hair changed yes, colors? Yes, he has like hair under the hat. No. Uh -huh. gray now, yes. Really? I swear to God. Do you know so, that? You know that they have, they have a Robert the Doll that's in the museum right now, and only two were made. Oh, yeah. One of them is in the factory, and there's one there. And it's a life-size, it's actually a little bigger than the actual Robert the Doll. I have it on the, on the video. They want two thousand something dollars for it. So That's crazy. There, no, well, there's there's one that they made, like two rare ones that, oh, that are gotcha, big, gotcha. and it's two. They're just two, like made. I almost thought about buying one of them just to hold on to it because it's gonna be worth money. Yeah. Like if you just because only two were made. Okay? Yeah. That's really cool. And one of them is sitting in the East Martello right now. Hey guys, so I had my phone just wedged here, and I guess it was kind of shaky, so. In the chat, I want you to put one if you preferred that. Shaky footage. Two, you prefer me just holding this like I am right now. Or three, and you don't have to comment yet. We'll give it a minute. But three, me just holding my phone. Because I, I, I don't know. With the YouTube live streaming app, for some reason, the stability is absolutely horrible for some reason. But on the phone, but it's when I, well, good. When I use the um, Streamlabs app, well, yeah, with the phone, it works perfect. Well, when I use the Streamlabs app, it actually has a better um, stability. Yeah. It has the regular iPhone stability. So this is me. This is me just holding it with my hand. So type one in the chat right now if you liked it when I had it here. Two in the chat when I just had it in here, or three in the chat now that I'm holding it. So I can see what you guys prefer because I can't really look at it right now. <laughs> oh, why am I looking on there? I can look on here. Duh. Uh, oh, a lot of twos. Okay, thank you guys. So what was two? Two was just me holding it in here. Okay, so they didn't mind it being shaky. Yeah, but when I set it down, that's when it was, I think, bad. Okay, yeah, it was really shaky. I'll show you that. I was seeing it, I'm like, man. That's I appreciate that, yeah, yeah, I didn't notice. It looked like crap. Thank you for saying that. I would have watched it later and been like, this sucks, and I would have to take my live stream down. We'll look out for each other, man. You do, bro. You looked out for me last night. As always, where are you guys going? We are headed to a top secret location. As a matter of fact, we should do those silent things too. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. You want to? Yeah. All right. If we have time. Yeah, we have like, so we have a couple different locations. Um, matter of fact, maybe on the last night that we're there, which would be Saturday night, possibly, I'm not promising anything, but possibly Omar and I will both go live that night from this very special secret top loop top secret location what do you think yeah possibility possibly we talked possibility Possible. we did talk about it you what do you think al you want to go do it too and go live that'd, that'd be really cool. that's a good idea right hey, i think you got a smudge i got a smudge all right uh, hang, on. Uh, hang on i'm gonna wipe you guys off a little bit here all right now it's clear much better and all what make it worse no i should have done that from the beginning <laughs> You know, you'd think I'd be uh, knowing what I'm doing after all these years, you know? Definitely working better now. Thank you. Hey, Doug, says James, where? James, whatever you do, don't take your socks off while I'm driving. Well, guess what? My socks are off right now, as a matter of fact. My socks, my shoes are off right now. You want to see them? Hey, bro, what the fuck? You need to buy some socks, dude. He's got yeah. socks. With I got a whole. Yeah, bro, got he's a whole, got socks. They I got. Look, I got they look whole, like Swiss cheese. Bro. I got holy socks. He had those well, last night. Bro, I know I did. Oh my, bro, you want me to buy you some socks, man? No, I got. Hey, we should start socks. a sock fund for James. <laughs> hey, go. You know what I should do? Go I should, to his PayPal. You know what? I got a better idea. Don't it, I'm gonna start wearing my socks, and then I'm gonna take them off and put them in Ziploc bags, and then I'm gonna do giveaways. Okay. No, bro, you should do a, <laughs> you should do a silent auction. A silent auction. <laughs> <laughs> for the sock fund. Dude, we're going to take old socks and turn them into new socks. 
bro. I couldn't really imagine how you're fighting tidies. Why even wear socks? If I had socks right, with holes, bro, why don't you show them? Show them your socks. <laughs> no, I'm good. Hey, my boy needs socks. What 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 do you what do you mean, tidy whities? Bro, your socks have holes. Who wears tidy whities, bro? I don't wear underwear. Oh, bro. Hey, James is the best person to pants hey, in public. I got a question in the chat. Okay, one, tidy whities. Two, boxer. Three, free balling. Yeah. Okay, I wonder what you guys say. I like boxers. I like the free balling. I wear the boxer briefs. I know a lot of women too that are like free ballers. Like they're nice. Like they keep everything nice and snug. And yeah, I like boxers. Yeah. No, I like to feel loose and free. I don't like tidy whities though. I like the boxer briefs. Yeah, that's my shit. Hello, what up, guys? Appreciate all the comments. Oh, shit. I'm trying to try to keep up here. Might be getting pulled over by a cop on a live stream. Are you? Are you speeding? Uh, no. Actually, I was going under. I was nervous because everybody was going slower. Hey, they might actually witness like the biggest freaking bridge that we're going. Oh on. yeah. There's some people they'll literally stop in the middle of the road and cause an accident. It looks like it goes to heaven. Oh yeah, check this out. This is in it right here. It's, oh. it's coming up up there. This is cool though. Um, so listen to the numbers. Two, two. That's two is boxer. Three is free ball, and so two, two, three, two, two, three, 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 hey, two, two, free three is free ballers. Free no underwear. Ball, two, 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 three, two, two. Nobody's saying tidy whities, bro. Yeah. Uh, Nobody. I haven't got any ones. Okay. Two, two, three, two, three. Honestly, the. Like it's I'm a wearing, little bit more twos than threes, but I'm wearing jeans right now. That'd be extremely comfortable, uncomfortable. Hey, right? hey, we got a one. Mary Johnson. Mary Johnson, you like them granny panties, huh? Why is her That's name gotta saying? be Johnson though? <laughs> <laughs> of course. He got you, Mary. That's funny. What's up, Wendy? I appreciate you being here. Hey, Dylan. What up, Kevin? Kevin likes three. I'm with you, bro. Corey, what's up, Mary? Melissa, Justin says, big fan of your video, guys. Appreciate hey. that. He, he met me and Al. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cool. I'm just kidding. Uh, what's up, Carrie? Good to see you. I appreciate you being here. Let me twist this around. I wasn't going to go live, but I figured I was supposed to do um, like some videos this last week. And I came up and met this guy in Miami like a week and a half ago. And then from there, we went all over the place. We went to Casadega. Yeah, we filmed some cool videos. We filmed the video. Bro, I forgot about that video. Yeah. We made that video, too. Yeah, bro. You filmed actually two videos, and you did a live stream. Wait, I did? Yeah. No. Didn't you, film, you didn't film two? No. Just one? Yeah, I just filmed one. Okay, I thought you filmed two. And um, I didn't. I don't think I did a live stream. Did I? Oh, you tried to go live, but the... Oh, the internet sucked. Yeah, internet you're terrible. right. You're right. So that's why, even though I can't show you the top secret location we're going to, um, I don't know if you could zoom in. Can you okay. zoom in on that bridge over there? Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I think so. Bro, people have like bungee jumped and died. Wait, is that that suicide bridge yeah, that's here? Like top 10 in the country for suicide. Yeah, yeah, that's. I've heard about that one. A lot of people it's jumping funny. off that one. Yeah I've, yeah, I've actually always wanted to make a video there, but can't. There's. Is there a place to? Yeah, I did at the. Uh, there's like a rest stop on the water. Uh, damn, I'm trying to keep it. It's called the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show because it's like kind of shaky. The original, no, it collapsed. A, a, a boat hit it. A boat hit it? Oh, yeah, shit, bro, yeah, shit. yeah. And it's haunted, like, like thousands of people. No, maybe not thousands. I think it was like it was like forty people. Yeah, died. a bunch of people died because their cars went over. Yeah, that was the original bridge. It happened in the nineteen. It's now a fishing pier. I think it was nineteen seventy nine. Mm. Yeah. And they turned. Yeah, they turned the north side and the south side. Look, actually, it's right there. North Skyway Fishing Pier. You go oh, fishing sweet. off of it. It's and it's haunted. It's it's a haunted bridge. Yo, we got a new member. Yo, thank you so much, Dylan. I appreciate that. I swear. You know what? Hey, remind Members me. Members live stream right Member after. Member live stream. Actually, right after this. Right after this? Yes. All right. Okay, so I do owe my members And you got to talk about what happened. Oh, yes, what I can't talk about publicly. Yes. So I had this idea to talk about this live stream where oh Omar came up with the idea. Bro, look at that. But like bridge. I feel like they're gonna like take my video down. It's like one of those things, like conspiracy theories things. But um that's what I'll do. So if you're a member on the channel, you don't have to be a member guys. Um 
I do owe them a live stream though, a private live stream. We usually get like 10 to 20 or maybe 10 to 30 people in those live streams, so it's very cool. I can read everybody's comment. It's more personal. It's more personal, yeah. Um, but yeah, right after this live stream ends, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up a live stream for members, and members, it should show right up on your um, just show them, just show that, like, it that is gorgeous, beautiful, like, water view right there with the sun glistening off of it. Like, that's beautiful, that's that's Tampa Bay. Like, when people say Tampa Bay, that's the Bay of Tampa, right there. It's is beautiful. the uh, football stadium like right near here? No, no, no it's near there. but dude, look at look up there, that bridge looks like oh, it's going damn, to damn, it does. There's a TikTok. That's kind of a, almost scary. Look how high that goes. Dude, it's insanely high. Can you zoom in? Yeah, I, I'm zoomed in. I'm just trying to keep it still. There's some people that will avoid going over that bridge and they'll go around. You it. know what? Hey, for members, I'm going to do set up my live stream right after this. So give me like five to ten minutes. But I'm going to use the Streamlabs app for that because I'm going to show you how much better the quality is. Okay. And I should have, I'm going to start doing that from now on when I'm. See, this like, is the old Skyway. Yeah. If oh, that's the old here, one? Yeah, that's where the bridge collapsed before. They turned half of it into, see right over here where that little house is? Mm -hmm. There was a big bridge there and a, a barge. Oh, wow. That looks dope. Wrecked right into Wait, it. Wait, so d nobody can live? Oh, you can still drive to it? You can yeah, drive, yeah, that's the fishing it. pier. They made oh, fishing. that's the fishing pier. But where it got pier. cut off right there, there was a, there was a, like an actual All right, this bridge. is it, guys. So where is it? Where would you be able to make a video here, though? You'd be on the side of the road here? Uh, you can't make a video. No. Here. Nah, you can't. But this is it, right on top yeah, is what we were talking about, everywhere. right? Some people will pull off to the side and jump. Look, see how they have the, these fences here? Because people will do that. Wait, so is it pretty much instant death if you jump from oh, here into the water? 100%, bro. This is like hundreds I, of feet. Oh, Wait till man. we get up to the top. Okay. Because they don't, oh, that's like why water. they put, you think that's why they put this fence yeah, up? Yes, this oh, is actually wow. within the last few years. Is it really? Yeah, yes. people would jump on uh, a lot of like messed up stuff. There's even a, a suicide phone up here. So a suicide phone? Like for help. help well, they them. should do that on su in a uh, suicide bridge. I think it's right there. Uh, I think it's Bro, look how high we're up right now. Look at this. If That's you're crazy. afraid, I'm like I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Al, can you um? Look at this. Look at that. Are, what do you have? Internet? It might have cut off. This is insane. Oh my god, that is so high. Hold on, let me see. Hold yeah, look at that. That is way higher than I thought, actually. Right there, the emergency phone. Oh, there it oh, is. Yeah, yeah I see oh, it. Oh, my God. Bro, I did not realize how... Oh, man. Oh. It almost makes you sick, right? Yeah. yeah when you look down, you Damn, bro. Okay, now I understand why it's pretty much yeah, instant. you jump off of this, bro, you're toast. You're oh, done. So, like I was saying real Pancake. quick. Oh, God. Yeah. That, that water from, from up here is uh -huh. hitting concrete. Oh, damn. At like 200 That's miles crazy. an hour. Yeah. Yo, Tiffany, thank you so much for the super chat. That's so nice. Oh, I'm sorry. It says, oh, I'm missing. Oh, are we over there? No, no, to the left. To the left. Over here. Oh, oh I, I got you the right there. The yeah. other bridge. I just want to get this before it disappears. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, Tip, thank you so much. Says, please buy some more socks. Uh, I've been waiting for the playoff prediction uh, from Omar's video. Love you guys. Yo, Omar nailed it. He did this video. I, you, I didn't nail it. Well, um, it was a, our, our homie. Our name was Tiffany. Yeah. Betty, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. I'll see you on the live stream right after this. Uh, but yeah, Omar had a psychic. And Omar and I really, really liked the opposite of what this big theory was for the Super Bowl. Oh, I got to tell you something, by the way. It just reminds me. Okay. They said the color has been to the Super Bowl, um, like in the logo. Me. And in the last three years it's come out. Well, they kept saying it was going to be um, Ravens. the Ravens versus the 49ers. And Omar and I thought, like, the opposite of that. We like the Chiefs and the Lions. And, oh, my God. Like, I bet $200 on this. It would have bet 200 would have paid over $2,000. And we won the first game. And in the second game, this is what crazy. So, he did a thing with a psychic. And the psychic said Chiefs were going to win. And it was going to be the 49ers were going to win. And we'd know by the third quarter. Well, you know what? <laughs> What's crazy is we won the Chiefs game. And then we bet on the Lions to well, win the big. Lions were the whooping their ass. Lion, at halftime, the Lions were up by 17 points at halftime. Then all of a sudden, in the third quarter, the other team outscored them by what? Bro, they caught up in the third quarter. They caught up in the third quarter, yeah. but the momentum had completely changed. And then you know what they call that? 
they ended up losing in um, Greg we special. Took the Greg oh, special. The Dan Campbell special. The Dan Campbell that. special. Yeah, we, it's called. Oh. We got screwed. What it's called. Or he got coached. But anyways, here. the psychic yeah. was right. She said it, and a lot of you guys messaged me that you actually guys bet on that. What the psychic said, and you guys won. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Like I can't believe that. And now, like now she already now check this. That same psychic Tiffany. She predicted the Super Bowl winner on that same day too, but I didn't release that footage. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I saw it, Tiffany. It's yeah. Tanisha. Tanisha, thank you for that super chat. I'm sorry. Like I just got a little shade, and I saw it was Tanisha. I just saw an animal. Take Thanks so much. I feel bad. She's like, that's not my name. <laughs> you got the comment right, but <laughs> sorry. But you know what it is? You see this color right here? It's hard for me to read that. Yeah. Well, let me show you guys. Well, James can't see very well. Though. Well, it's that color for some reason. I don't. I don't know why but i can still oh it's dj oh dj thank you so much man i appreciate that yeah let me just see how read that for me this dude was just hanging off the i bridge. saw that really he was yeah. sitting on the edge of the bridge fishing oh he's just said, fishing yo it's so awesome can't wait to meet y'all one day yeah now man. that i'm moving back to florida you should yeah that's awesome hey bro. weather's been so nice it's 64 degrees i love it when we meet up with fans we've been meeting some fans like just randomly I met one in Miami the other day. Yeah. And, uh, and in Casadega. In Casadega. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. And it's funny because we'll run into people and they're they're there because they've seen a video that we've made in the past there. Yeah. And like that's basically why they, they're there, which is so cool. You know what? People that we go and visit their places and they're like, oh no, you're going to have to pay. There's some people, a lot of people don't know this, but when they find out that we're YouTubers, mm -hmm. they want to charge extra money. They Oh yeah, we've had that happen. It is. It's messed up. It's terrible. You know what I do? I refuse to go there sometimes because there's a place we filmed recently. I can't remember what it was. And like, you know, normally I'd tell you guys to go there, check it out. Like it's really cool. They were so rude. I'm like, imagine if like our fans come here. Like they're being mean to us and rude to us. Imagine how they're gonna treat them. And I like I wouldn't even mention their name in the video. And we won't mention that they were rude. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't call them out or anything, but I'm not going to, like, promote them and then have my, you know, the people that I, I care about go over there and get treated the same way, you know? Yeah. But, uh, Mathis, thank you so much for the super chat. He said, I am a big fam. Uh, love all your videos. Hey, we appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. And I'm from Norway. Yo, shout out to Norway. I appreciate that. Love that. Oh, thank you, Mathis. Norway. I love your name, by the way, Mathis. This is an awesome name. Friend Victoria sent me a super chat. Thanks, Vicky. I appreciate What's that. Up, Vicky? You know, it's very rare that I have a bartender tip me. So that's pretty right. neat, right? Oh, pretty she's cool. A she's a bartender. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. She, she lives in uh, Satan's Hollow. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> it literally is hotter than hell. Uh, hotter than hell. Yeah. We went there one. We got out of the car and like it's like getting out of the car in a sauna, especially in the summer. It felt like it, like when you open up an oven when you're getting. Pizza yes. Out. Oh, and, and, it, that, that and heat, it hits you in the face. Smacks you in the face. Perfect analogy, yeah. actually. That was a Literally perfect analogy. Like that. That's exactly what it feels like. And we went from Vegas, where it actually was like kind of cool, to just Arizona. a heat that I've never ever experienced in my life. You know that Arizona though is has the lowest chance for any natural disasters. Really? Yep. No, yeah, no tornadoes, no earthquakes, no hurricanes. Literally, I mean, I think the worst possible scenario is that they just run out of water because <laughs> it's the desert, obviously. But some uh, people are asking you about the goats and the farm and stuff. I knew I meant to live stream from his house when we were just there. I know, but yeah. I, I didn't make it. It's in time. been great. It's been busy today. We had a bull in the backyard. You did? Yeah, there was a bull. I think one of my cows was in heat. Oh no! Wait, how did you get it back? Do the dogs were just like they were barking they do their job they're really good working dogs hey al there's a motion at your front door and by the way our puppies are huge so i just got a notification i'm keeping them like i'm keeping the puppies i'm not like i was gonna find them homes because this thought that five dogs i mean feed five dogs take you know have the vet because we have a vet come over and we give them the heartworm medicine oh yeah flea medicine and everything and they check up on them but you know we're we're gonna yeah we're gonna just keep them they're gonna be fine. Dude. They're happy and I, I love the pup the puppies. The puppies are so, are so awesome. They're so cute. And they, they love each other. It's so cool. Like 
You guys have to you have to get more of that on camera. Yeah. What up, big Steve? Good they look like little teddy bears. Oh, they they're do. So fluffy. Enjoy it while they're little, bro. Try to get more videos of them. You know. Balls are like so they're huge. Massive. They're about this big already. Like, yeah. Like they're about thirty. Yeah, he's keeping them all. He couldn't. He couldn't get, force himself uh, to sell them or get rid of them. Yeah. Well, I mean. I would have been happy if they just went to a good home, but I don't want to separate them. They're happy. But they're also not like regular house dogs. No. If you got rid of them, it would, you would be to somebody's farm. Like some people don't realize is certain animals are bred and, and do are meant for certain things, and those yeah. breeds. Although I do, I would say they would make good house dogs too. But yeah, they make good house dogs. But, but they're happy outside. They're more ha most happy outside. They're agreed. A, a working breed like Rottweiler. Exactly. Or their work tank. And you know what? They're being trained by their parents. Like they're actually being trained. Yeah, that's right. And they love their parents. Like they're uh, parents. Somebody says stingy with the puppies. He must want one. <laughs> yeah. No, he tried. Actually, he did look to try to, you know, if somebody was interested. Yeah, but um, but now I it's like it. now you I'm yeah. Keep on. Somebody offered you two grand for one. You wouldn't no, take it. No, you wouldn't. Even five grand. I wouldn't nah. Swear to God. You wouldn't sell one for five grand. No, I wouldn't split them up. They're happy. Yeah. They, they love each other. See, that's that's a real. Yeah, that's they, that's they a real pet together. lover. I like to hear Bro, that. Bro, even if somebody offered me ten thousand dollars, I like it. it. Yeah, those dogs, they're they're happy and they mean everything to me. True that. True that. What's up, Christina? Good to see you. She said, "Aw, Mary, what's good? Hey, Le Leslie, Princess Bridget, what up?" Said, so "That's sweet of you." Christina, what's up, Amber? No, a million they dollars. No, no, I was nah. <laughs> Victoria says she's at work. Victoria, I want a pickle back shot. Okay. And you have it for me. Tell me how it was. I think that's a good idea. You know what pickleback shot is? Oh, it's like a, a shot, and they like give you a shot of pickle juice afterwards, and you take the pickle juice afterwards. Yeah. I hate Bro, pickle juice. I hate pickles. Period. Hey Ashley, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Missy, what up, Missy Thomas? She's been a member for sixty-six months. Man, big Can we get in an applause for all our members? Like, bro, I have so I have. So so nice, so generous people. Yeah, like people like have been, years bro. I've had people have been members since like day one. Still, like you'll you'll see. It's like I don't know, 60, 70 months, something like that. Although Missy was in the beginning, so that's probably about how long it's been. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. We love her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey James and Omar, what's up? I'm glad that we caught you live. I'm glad. I'm glad you caught us live. <laughs> I almost said I'm glad we caught you live. Oh, love you, James and Omar. I love the puppies. Yeah, Al Capone will follow James now. I mean, yeah, they'll follow you for, yeah, that's what I mean. that Al Capone with the three at the end. Yeah. That's my, uh, my boy. We got thanks, some videos Mary. together, too. Mary said, thanks, yeah. Missy, for being a supporter for so long. So nice of you. Yo, Leslie became a member. I appreciate it. Right after this live stream, I'm gonna be talking about something a little controversial. I've done, I've kind of talked about stuff like this before, and once I was doing a live stream, and no kidding, I swear YouTube or somebody like started messing with my live stream, like the sound went off by itself, and then like it was freezing, and it wouldn't let me live stream. It was really weird. Um, but I want to talk about it because I feel like right now, especially this year, it is a very big possibility of something happening and i believe the more people that know about it will be prepared to see it if that was to happen um so yeah i'll talk to you guys the members about that and then we can discuss it and i want to see what you guys think so this is a really good idea bro um because yeah i can't really talk about it on youtube really like i feel like i could get away with it like on a members because only a, a little bit of people there yeah and if they remove it YouTube does remove um I've seen YouTube remove videos like that though. Dude, check this. So my boy Colin mm -hmm. put up a video of him and his girl like I it was I think it was on their anniversary or some I don't know. Maybe it was in an anniversary. But he put up a video of like them hanging out and and just having fun and it was a private video, but they saved it on YouTube private just for them <laughs> to watch. And it had like maybe a little bit of helicoptering like, no, nothing like that. Nothing porn. No, nothing like that. No, no, no. That's, what you mean? Uh, like, just like it was nothing. Yeah, like, no, like, no. Nothing like that. But it was just like um. There's some white ass in it. 
maybe 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 something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know the details. It was, it was like a romantic gesture just for them to share. Right. And he thought it was on private, no one could see it. But no, you know, it was. It was one hundred percent. It was for them. Yeah, but YouTube somehow saw it, even reason, though it was on private. The reason why he put it private is because he wanted it to stream onto the TV. So that they mm. can watch it and share memories together. Right. It was something between them, but it was right. nothing sexual. It was nothing like that. No, no, no. It wasn't, it wasn't that. No. Right. No, no, it wasn't. Well, like, you know, it was something that YouTube didn't like and they literally terminated his channel. Well, you what? can't show Shit any out, you it can't was... show any nudity on YouTube. That's what it was. And it was a video that was completely private just for himself. He didn't release right. it in public. Like that is um, like I have imagine videos of this. My kids imagine this just as an private. example. Imagine like you are you are put on YouTube on private yourself naked in front of the mirror and you like compare yourself every day and you put it up. That would technically get you banned off YouTube, even though it was on private, just for yourself. Yeah, but right. th what's weird is they have that waxing video where they show nudity and stuff. Yeah, and but that's that's, that's, that's considered educational. Because it because it's considered educational. Yeah, <laughs> it is dumb, bro. It is. Like, there's legit porn on YouTube, and is there? Yeah. How do you know about that? I, I there's it's it's on in articles and shit. Like, and kids are watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but sure. It's, but it's it's supposedly educational because they're like, you know, oh well, like this is how this like enters and this and blah blah blah. <laughs> and bro, like, well, why is this on this? Should yeah. Completely not be on YouTube. Nah. Like. I mean, if somebody wants to educate themselves, like go to Google and not like YouTube and get a visual shot. Like my kids are on this, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hundred like, percent. I hate that when I see that on Twitter all the time, or yeah, not all the not time, even but age restricted, which is bizarre. Mm. You know, like I don't know, it should be age restricted at least. True, true. Yeah, I, I would like. I wouldn't mind actually doing another video with Colin. I like Colin. He's a good, Colin's good a dude. Great guy, man. Great guy. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, man. Like when we go to Texas, we'll definitely meet up with him. His TikTok? TikTok? Oh, really? It brings light to a lot of some of the material sensitive, but it brings light to a lot of mm, yeah. old cases and stuff, like which is really cool. I follow him on TikTok. He's, he's dope. Him. I'm really proud of him. I don't he's really come, do TikTok. He's like a long way. Oh yeah. I felt so we felt so bad for him though when his channel got terminated. We actually like tried to we yeah. actually helped him get his yeah, channel he back. Got it back because you knew yeah. that they were wrong. Well, actually, they they didn't for a while. We actually ended up like tweeting to um, YouTube, like me, Omar, Yasko, um, and several other creators. Like, we kind of like it's a small community, right? So we kind of have like each other's back. When one of us is going through something like that, we kind of all try to like do something, whatever, if we can, a little something, you know. Like we're concerned about each other in a way. Yeah. Would you get, would you say that's true? Even though the, I would say paranormal community in a whole is kind of toxic. Like people do come together. It is toxic, but the people that we're friends with, I mean, we we don't might, might not talk to them or see their videos all the time. Yeah, because you know, we're just busy. We got busy lives, but we do support each other, and we're. Of I course, agree. We like to encourage each other no matter what. Even people that are outside of paranormal mm -hmm. you know we just like to encourage them agreed because we know how hard it is to be a content creator it's it is, it's hard exactly to yeah and we don't wish anything bad upon each other you know it's just not good but oh, hey thank know. you amanda barrett that's so nice you didn't have to do that hey um oh, very nice if you could say a prayer for amanda barrett's mom okay she's, her mom uh, yeah she's sick you definitely 100 so percent. prayers for her, for her mom prayers for amanda's mom in the chat i like it we, uh, we both know how rough that is when our moms are struggling. But um, it sucks how life is, honestly, sometimes. But yeah. Mathis, thank you again, man. Says, uh, what's that? Can you read the Mathis? Yeah, Thanks, bro. Read this, all of you. I am 20 centimeters, 201 centimeters with shoes, and I am a long man. I don't know what he said. I think I'm hitting my head everywhere I go. Okay. And you're saying he's really tall in Europe. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, I'm tall too. I'm six foot. Well, in America, we kind of go by, um, you know, feet and inches. We do. I'm six weird foot, shit. six foot five, basically. We we do the Fahrenheit. We do the miles per hour instead of kilometers per yeah. hour. He's saying he's really tall when he hits his head. Oh, James hits his head everywhere. Yeah. Just the other night, he smacked into a pole. Oh my god, bro! Oh my, dude, I, I uh, feel like I still feel it. We're walking like in this place and I wasn't really like I was looking at my phone not paying attention <laughs> and bro I literally went BAM right into a, like a piling 
like with my head and everybody in there heard it too it was like super loud like echoing throughout the place (laughs) and they're like oh you know when you kind of laugh but then you're like you know serious like are you okay man and i'm like i'm a little concussed i did see a few stars for a minute but bro it was funny i wish i would have had that on video but i felt bad for you oh dude you know what it was a little swollen the next day but not bad it's like when you see like your best friend bust their ass and yeah like, you laugh yeah 100 you know I, mean? I would have laughed I mean, if I you laugh did too that when i fall i laughed i laughed a little i kind of like my first reaction was i laughed and then i was like yeah i did kind of fuck myself up <laughs> i'm walking sideways uh, i'm like yep yeah, that definitely did hurt you know sometimes you do that and you like you play it cool or you're like you play it tough and you're like yeah no nah, it's fine it, it didn't really hurt you know, but this one I was like, nah, it that, that got me pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that was rough. Bro, I always be doing stuff like that. Tell Omar I said hi. Yo, Amber said hi, Omar. Hi, Amber. James, you need to get eye surgery. You know what? I am supposed to be going back down there pretty soon. Uh, this month, actually. Later this month. Most fan callers' brother in law went missing in December. Where is Oh, wow. That, that, you know about that? The other day. Yeah, Carlo, Carlo? Yeah. Uncle Carlo yeah. Is his brother-in-law. Is he still missing? He's been missing there for like a, like a month or so. Dang. That's rough, bro. Prayers for Carlos's brother-in-law. Joy, what's good? Good to see ya. What's up, Chris? Said everybody like and share for James. Hey, I appreciate that. You know, these live streams, you guys seem to love these the most. When we're just in the car, we're driving to a location because we have hours of driving today. It helps so the, it does. It does help the drive go by a little quicker. Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, it is. I do like it too. Make sure you guys subscribe to Al's um, channel. Like my 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 um, moderators. Big shout out to my mods because sharing the channel. Yeah. You guys have been sharing the channel links and stuff, so you can see one of my mods that have the wrench, and they'll put a link. You could click on it. And just go over and subscribe either to Omar or, or Carlos back here. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, alligator. We were alligator. A, we were playing a poker game Ow. just between friends. Yeah, we were playing. We kept game. getting all our names wrong. <laughs> I did. I kept calling Carlos out and out Carlos. <laughs> they kept getting so mad, but they looked so much alike. Like, I don't know. For a blind guy, they looked exactly yeah, the same, know. basically. Yeah. Maybe not to you, but James, you're welcome. Hey, it's alligator Ticker Tiger Tail. Switch to that. Dude, that's that's, that's a high. I game. love alligator capon, but capital A O, and keep it all just one word, alligator capon. You I need can, a dope logo too, man. You could get that on T-shirts. Well, I hope nobody man. has that alligator nah, capon. Nah, no one's got that. Bro, all right, no more talking about it. So I just, you know, you could actually sign up for a name if they already have it. I'm like, gonna when, change when my I name. change my name, the fam. You, like, you can start a channel right now and call it The Fam, or you can call it Omar Gosh TV. You can't get the at sign, which actually is really cool. I'm glad they did that. You know, so about, I'd say about six to eight months ago, um, it used to always be, like, when I created my account, Omar told me to call this channel The Fam. We talked about it. That's what we came up with. And there was already a fam with, like, I don't know, a couple hundred subscribers. But I still called it The Fam, and then, of course, after a while. But, um... About six to eight months ago, YouTube did this new thing where they have an ad sign now, and everyone had the chance to go and secure their ad sign. And most people just got whatever their YouTube channel was named at the time, ad sign. And yo, somebody registered the fam at the fam right before I could. And I was like, dude, this is so messed up. So I actually reached out to YouTube and I was like, is there, like, I did it on Twitter actually. I was like, is there any way that you guys could, um, you know, see if you could get, you know, get me it. Cause like that other channel only has like 100 subscribers and I have, you know, over 500,000. Like, you know that happened on TikTok? Somebody, somebody name squatted my name. Uh, it's bro. like, bro, there's no other Omar Gosh TV. No, so, yeah, it's 100%. Somebody, so. somebody took my Omar Gosh TV, put it on, and they don't even have a, they don't even upload videos. So like on TikTok. Did you ever reach out to him? It's Omar Gosh 004. Have like you ever that. reached out to him to see if yeah, you could get it from him? him? I'm like, bro, why do you have my name? This is you should have offered him a hundred bucks. I don't for that. I think I did. I did some. Sh- they didn't even read my message. Well, what's cool is so I, I reached out to YouTube. And it's like a dead channel. They said they'll look into it. And within a couple of days, I got an email that said you can now apply and get the fam. So they like kicked them off of it and they let me get it. That was really cool of them actually, wasn't it? And then somebody name squatted 
omargashtv.com and put it for sale for ten thousand dollars. Nah. Yeah. For ten thousand, I wonder who they and were I, trying to get that ten thousand from. And I owned it. I I owned it before, but I didn't oh. have the money. And it like it, bro, it only cost a couple dollars. You just forgot to do it. You mean? Um. It's really cheap, bro. It's yeah, like it was. It was. I, I didn't. Twenty bucks for I, the whole year, I say. I forgot to renew it. It wasn't. I, I, That's what it, it was, was. Yeah. I think it was cheap. So I had it through GoDaddy. Yeah. And then when I went to go renew it, I was like, bro, ten thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Like this is my website. Like what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Someone took your own. Website. Yeah, they took bro. my website name, bro. People do that. They actually do that for a living. They literally try to get like channels or um, you know your website names and then sell them back to to people. Yeah, it's bullshit. But you know what? I, I think if that guy doesn't renew it, he won't probably renew it. Yeah. Or maybe reach out and say, I'll give you 500 for it. Nah. Nah, you don't need it. Yeah. Nah. What's Actually, up, I, PLE? I Good to see I, you, man. I think I own theomargosh.com. Oh, I like that. And it goes right to my YouTube channel or something like that. Yo, the South Cac's in the house. What up, neighbors? If you didn't know, that's my neighbors, the South Cac's. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? I don't know if I have messages to you guys, but can you go check my mail? Because I know I have some in my mailbox right now. Also, my water may or may not have been turned off due to lack of paying my bill um, when I get back home. So I need to look into that. Let me know, let me know if there's a way I can send you guys money to pay that for me. Perfect. Did you ever see the was it Roman Atwood video where he was saying? Um, Hey, what's up, my neighbor? Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, you know what? You know what video I look back at when I think of Roman Atwood? Do you remember the video, the Flasher video? Yeah. So he did this video where he basically had like a bathrobe, like a bathrobe bomb, but under like a bathing suit and like a white T-shirt, and it said like "Don't do drugs" or "Stay in school." And he would he basically put the bathrobe up and he'd run between a parent and their little child and he'd go he open it up his his robe and he's like hey do you like what you see and then the, the parent would obviously freak out and be like hey what are you doing and then they'd look and see his shirt and says stay in school don't do drugs and then a lot of them laughed or just what are you doing you idiot you know yeah, that's actually funny. bro i actually wanted to make that prank nah. video I, no i i did no i'm not but i said back in the days like i wanted to do that i thought it was i thought it was actually kind of funny you just never know after the one bad experience I had. Yes, you want to tell them about that? Because that was I if, crazy. I will if they, if they like this video and they want to hear it. Oh, yeah? So I, I will share it. I had a really bad experience bad, back when I did pranks. Some people know about it, and I have a video on private. You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? Somebody said they would marry me. Oh, you should redo that video, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, interviews. And you, oh, that's a All right, whoever idea. is on James's members only live stream, I'm going to share that private video with. Oh. I have a whole video on it. Oh, dope. Where, like, le my life was legit threatened. Dude, and I know. Almost, I, it was bad. It was very, very bad. It was, let's just say it was a prank gone wrong. Yeah, terrible. And I have terribly it wrong. Private. You should call I it, have it on YouTube uh, anyway. the prank that went terribly wrong. It actually, it was the reason why he stopped doing pranks. Yeah. That's why you actually transitioned into something new. You yeah, started, started doing, doing vlogs. Vlogs, and you started uh, doing paranormal And you know what? Stuff. You know what's, like, kind of funny enough about it? Uh. This experience was, it was so bad in so many ways. But it was probably one of the first videos I did after quitting my job and going full-time on YouTube. Uh. So think about how scared I was mentally. It's like, oh, my God, like, I'm, I just quit my job. Good idea, Nacho. And you know how hard it, you can't just, when you're a hairdresser and you quit your job, you're, it takes like years to build up a clientele. For all my hairdressers, anybody in the service industry, massage therapists, nail techs, um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, any business, lawn care. It's, yeah, you. It, it takes so many years to build up your book and it took me years and I literally gave all of that up to go full time on YouTube. Yeah. And. I mean, because YouTube was work. It was work. I, I did, went, worked a full time job and I was doing YouTube. And I never. Some people will do the reverse. They're like, oh, I'm going full time on YouTube. I'm quitting my job. No, don't mm -mm, do that. No. You know what I mean? No, you no. Not that. until after you make it. I was on YouTube for about six years. A lot of people be saying that too, six bro. Six years before I yeah. went full time on it and quit my job. And I, I wanted to make sure that I was doing it. Hold okay. up. I'm missing something in the chat. The people was talking about something about a lot of people in here want to marry James. Wait, we talking about marrying James? I mean, James is technically single. Put a ring on it. 
I mean, I have been recently talking to someone, but like it's, you know, you never know. Like that's just talking to someone and they live on the other side of the country. Never, so never met up with her. Nah, nah. I barely talked to her, honestly. Well, folks, we ran into some I talked to her once, so I did. No, Anyways, right. um, yeah, send your uh, resume over to switch594 at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, so there was this place in, I think it was in the Palm uh, in Las Vegas, and the name of the restaurant was called Sen Noodles. Sen Noodles, yeah. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. But it was spelled N, you yeah, know, like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that was, we should have took a picture of that. I think I actually did take a picture of it. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look. Oh, don't you awesome. have a uh, guitar pick? <laughs> oh, yeah. Your dick pick? Yeah, I have a picture of a... It's it's a dick pick. It's it, it's a it's a guitar. Uh -huh. And it's it's a guitar pick, and it yeah. says dick on it. <laughs> oh. So it's funny. like... You take a picture of that, and you like, hey, you want to see my dick pick? And it's, a, <laughs> and it's a pick of a guitar. Omar's all about those dick pics. I'm all about this. Showing your wiener? <laughs> no, that's Al. No, I like Gator no, Capone. No, 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 no. Use the left two lanes to keep left onto University Parkway toward Lakewood Road. I mean, I'm not ashamed oh, no. like James. Roland lost his job because of the alien video, so that sucks. Oh no! No way. Poor Roland. Keep left. I've got. St oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Amber. Praying for you. Man, oh, my Amber. So she said she got cancer. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. That's right. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna pray for you. Amanda Barrett, you'd marry me? Dang, it's too bad you didn't live in the U.S. You know, that's what always happens. I find, like, a really cute fam that, that likes me. And I like them. They live in the U.K. They live in the U.K. <laughs> they live in Canada. They, they live in Australia. They live Canada's okay, though. anywhere we'll but the U.S. The in the Philippines. Hey, well, any well, South well, Carolina well, women? Uh, Florida, maybe? That, that'd really be the best. But South Carolina people. Cause that's where you live. Yeah, that's where I live. That's why I just moved to. At the light, use the left three but lanes you know what? to turn onto North I Cattleman no Road. I went single for five years before my last relationship, and I've been single for two and a half years again. So I ain't gonna start stressing for another two and a half years. You're getting kind of old though, so you. Need you know to what? Learn. I might, I might be, I might be, but you know what? I enjoy, I enjoy, uh, I enjoy not. Uh, you know what? Being mentally. I did, bro. Job I got three beautiful three kids. kids. Yeah. No matter bro, if the meet and two doesn't work. That's anymore. the other reason I, I'm not ever like, you know, am, like feel like I'm in a rush. Like I've been married and I have my kids. So and you know, I've had, had women ask me, Well, would you still have another kid? And like I ain't really looking to try to do that. But if I found the right woman and I fell in love with her and she, you know, really had her heart set on it. You'd have you know, another that, kid? It'd be a possibility. What? Not saying I would. I would only do it if... She, I wouldn't want to do it. But if she... If I loved her and she really wanted a kid or she didn't have a kid and she wanted one, I'd consider it. Not me. Uh, Plus, well, I shoot, that's because you've been snipped, kid. Yeah, I shoot blanks anyway. Yeah. yeah. I would... Nah, I'm, yeah. Yeah. But no, when you use your Viagra at work, you said... <laughs> no. <laughs> <coughs> I made that sound believable, didn't I? <coughs> I did actually. You ever take my Vi Viagra before? No, I don't need to. No. <laughs> I mean, hey, I heard that stuff's no good, too. So. No? I don't be, think it could be that healthy for you. I no. heard it gets like your <laughs> heart pumping and it'll make you sweat. Is that what it did to you, Al? No, it didn't do it to me, but it did to uh, my 30 year old brother. Oh, <laughs> uh, dang. Wait, where are we at? We're at the Fresh Kitchen. Oh, we're getting food? No, I'm gonna get some pee pee. Oh, we're gonna go, Kaga. James, still a young James, and you have plenty of time. I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I'm 50. That's not old. I used to look at 50-year-olds as old as a kid. Yeah. You got to go to two? Yeah. Uh, are you guys getting anything? Or you James just... actually looks really good for his 54. Like yeah, it's... for sure. Uh, you would never know. Yeah, yeah. dude. 54. Yeah, 54. Yeah. Um, are you guys getting anything in there? Uh, you just. I'm just going to. Yeah, I, got go I need a drink, bro. I'll get you one. Will you? All right, thanks. A sweet tea if they got it. If not, whatever works. All right, I'm going to leave the car on. Don't get out. No, I'm good. If you get out. No, I'll stay uh, in the car. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're not going to. What? No. Okay. No. You can be with someone for five years and still not know who they truly are. 100%. You could be with somebody for 10 years and not know who they truly are. 
All right, now I could actually set this down where we're not moving. Um, like I said, when I do the members stream after this, let me do this. I will uh, switch over to the other live streaming app. So hopefully it's not like so, so messed up. That works right about there. Big shout out to Al using his phone. Oh, I can read comments better. Leandra, what's up? Good to see ya. What's up? Dawn says, James, I thought you were in your 40s. I am in my 40s. He's, he's, he likes to do that every year. Every year on my birthday, he always says, oh, happy 50-something birthday to James. Uh, I am 46, thank you very much. But I will be 47 next month. So we're inching closer to that big 5-0, you know what I mean? Now, yes, when I was younger, 50 was old as hell. That, that's the that's like man that's when you kind of i say like 40 is probably when you start hitting that you know the slope that goes like this <laughs> but no probably probably like 50 you know it's all uphill from there you know what i mean it's all uphill from there okay i'm gonna have a good uh i don't even know what you call it retirement i mean i kind of feel like i've been retired for years to be honest with you even though youtube is a full-time job um, but like I enjoy you guys and it, it pushes me because honestly I if, like I, I probably like when I first met Omar before I started like you know messing around with you guys like you know I've said this a hundred times I never wanted to be a YouTuber I never cared to like be known or you know I just I never had a passion for any of that like I've offered uh, my ex actually got really mad at me because I got offered um, twice a TV show one with Omar and Omar signed the paperwork and I didn't sign it because like I don't know I just didn't want to do TV and then when I was with her um, another uh, producer in California wanted us to to do like a sizzle reel and stuff for for this idea and concept that I told them about but I just I didn't want to do it you know I just I don't know it doesn't it that kind of stuff doesn't make me happy in life. And I live life kind of backwards because, you know, I worked very hard. Like I started working when I was 12 years old. I started working in the restaurant business. I called, like I opened up the yellow pages. This is obviously before the internet. Um, I opened up the yellow pages and I started calling every restaurant I could find that was close by until one of them said they would hire me. And again, I was only 12 years old. So it's kind of illegal. So you kind of had to pay me cash. But I worked as a dishwasher there, and then I worked at several different restaurants after that. I worked at, like, Boston. It used to be Boston Chicken, which became Boston Market. Then I worked at, like, um, like a Denny's type of restaurant as a waiter. Then I worked at Will Chamberlain's, which was a really cool, like, sports bar restaurant and arcade. Um, it was super neat. And then I started going to college. And I was actually only about four credits short of getting my associate's degree, and I quit because I started making like so much money. I was like, I came up with this idea back then. I don't know if some of you guys remember when the dancing baby screensaver became popular and viral. Like when screensavers, like, I don't know, this back when it was like Windows 95. Um, so it was around 90, like mid nineties, I guess. And screensavers started going nuts everybody was talking about it everyone liked it so i started creating my own screensavers and i used different things like titanic and star wars and i'd sell them on ebay for five dollars a piece and people would literally just send me five dollars in the mail or a money order and then i'd send them a floppy disk believe it or not a floppy disk with the screensaver um i don't even think at the time i could just like email it to them when it first started i you know now you could easily do that you can send a, a file but back then you couldn't really do that and uh one day i was coming home because i started selling on ebay so i'd make you know 100 150 bucks on ebay a week you know i'd get 20 30 40 sometimes 50 a week you know it wasn't a lot i'd make four dollars on each one but i was coming home one day and like five houses down there was a garage sale from where i lived and somebody had like this old ass hard drive and it was like so big back then um i think it was like a 240 megabyte hard drive not even a gigabyte um and they had a copy of windows 95 that was like sealed in the box and they sold to me for like 20 25 bucks a piece and i i basically listed it on ebay and one of them sold for like 100 and the other one sold for like 150 and i'm like damn i just made more money than i did working as a waiter for two nights in a row 
So I ended up finding this wholesaler and buying all these different computer parts and electronics and stuff from them, but I'd buy it wholesale. Like, um, for example, if you bought a brand new motherboard for your computer and it happened to go defective within the warranty period, you could contact the manufacturer, they'll send you a brand new replacement. No box, no cable, it's just the brand new board for the replacement. Well, after the warranty period's up, they have all this excess inventory. So I would go in there and I would offer them like, pennies on the dollar but i'd buy everything that they had so they made it had a hundred dollar item i'd buy it for ten dollars a piece now it didn't come with the box and you know the cables like it normally would because so they didn't really have the outlet to actually sell it or a market to sell it so they'd give it to me cheap and they would use it as a write-off and i'd give them cash so they were putting cash in their pocket putting it as a write-off so they lost money on it and they were making out and i was making out because I then sell 100 to 200 items a week on eBay, and I was making like 40, 50 dollars an item. So I was banking back then. So I kind of lived life backwards in the sense that I was making 10,000 dollars a week, so about 40 grand. So I made about a half a million dollars a year for a long time. Um, and then after 10 years, what's weird is when I was 25, like I used to work so much, like I would say 70, 80 hours. I owned my own business. Um, I actually had a shop I opened up, um, you know, I had, a, um, uh, I did trade shows and I had the online stuff and I got into a really bad car accident. I was going to my friend's house and I was in my Roush stage threes convertible Mustang. I had a, I had the stage three convertible Roush Mustang. I had a Lexus SUV and I had a, uh, F-150. I had three vehicles at the time and Yo, this drunk driver, he was in this $100,000 Mercedes and he came right up behind me going about 50 miles an hour while I was stopped. Oh my God. Didn't even see me, bro. My friend said he was talking to me, like he was in his car talking to me and I was next to him. He's like, I was looking at you one minute, the next minute you were just instantly gone. And it was just the craziest thing. And I had a roll bar and I hit my head on the roll bar and I got some type of concussion. And I went and saw a neurologist and the neurologist told my wife at the time, she was like, he was like, you listen, you need to like bear with him a little bit because he's going to be a little forgetful for a while, have a little bit of memory loss. But I swear to you, something else happened because ever since that day, I could never work the same. Like I used to be this big hustler. I did all this stuff. After that, like I, so it was like, I, I knew I had to do work. Like say, for example, I had to do a hundred email replies. I know I needed to sit there and just do it, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't even force myself to do it. And it's definitely something, uh, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> Did I miss that? A wild animal. I don't know. What's he doing? Nah. Oh, this sweet Thanks, bro. That's so sweet. That's so sweet tea. Why does that not look like a sweet tea to me? Hey, that place in there, very weird. The bathroom or any gender could use any bathroom. Oh, that's okay. I've seen that many places. I bro, just, check out his food. I just feel bad for the girls, you know? Dude, I hope you didn't do something to my drink, yo. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was expecting, like, a sealed drink. I mean, I'd mess with his drink if he was doing a live stream, so that makes me wonder. Where are you going? Wait, what are you doing? Thanks for answering me, Al. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, thanks. What the hell? I got his phone, though. I don't know. What the fuck is that? Bro, that is no sweet tea. I think he fucked with my drink. That tastes disgusting. It might be like one of those. Have you seen those like fancy tea places that's like hibiscus, lemonade, bouquet, tea, and like just weird stuff? It could be one of those weird chai thingies. It's definitely not sweet tea though. I don't know. All right, I might go into the restaurant. Hang on. Actually, it is sweet tea. He didn't mess with it. <sighs> That's good. I think I need a refill. <clears throat> oh, shit. He did fuck with my drink. Hey, try this chicken, bro. That's barbecue. Try it. Where did you get chicken from? In there. Fresh kitchen. And you brought it out here? No, I'm not eating your fish or whatever. It's not fish, dude. I promise. No, I ain't trying to make I'm, I'm good. Bro, it's not fish. This is citrus or uh, ginger. Or one citrus. in the chat if I should try it. Two in the chat if not. All right, which one? 
That's the barbecue chicken. Bro, it's so good. It's not salmon. I promise. Bro, sure. eat, man. I'm freaking starving. I just came to share it with you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, then try this one. Which one is this? Uh, that's the citrus chicken. Freaking so good. Oh, wow. I'm still wondering. How did he just have, like... Wait, is he coming back? What is he doing? I'm so confused. Does he have food out there? All right, let me get my shoes on. Yeah. That was actually pretty good. But tell me that wasn't a little sketchy, right? Like, I trust my friend with everything, but I fuck with him, so I can't blame him if he does it back to me. Wait, did he leave his car? I don't know. I did tell him I was going to stay in the car, but... Ah. Oh shit, I hope, did it just lock? I don't know. Why did the door just do that? Oh, I thought it locked or something. When it honked, I thought it locked. Oh, okay. I didn't know you had a whole setup back here. Dang, is that good? It's, uh, you can buy, get like different kinds of chickens? Veggies, kind like this avocado. Like well, damn, I'm gonna go in there right quick. All right, let's go in there. I don't know where we're going, but... FK? Where'd alligator go? There he is. Yo, alligator, what you getting, bro? Bro, they got some bomb looking food in there. Show me what they got. Bowls. What they got? They do bowls. They get veggies, some different noodles, kale, rice, and then you get two proteins. What proteins they have? Um, hmm. Oh, that's mine. That's what are you getting? Can I get a uh, barbecue chicken? Gonna take shrimp? Uh, the barbecue? Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, what, 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 they have, I know, they have any meat. Yeah, you get two proteins. Um, what's that over there? Actually? Oh, dang. I might gotta do that. Bro, fire. I gotta go get my wallet. Okay. Hey, Al, you gonna, you gonna take it outside? All right. Dang. Usually I have my wallet because my wallet's connected to my phone, but I took my, uh, it's kind of like a, a wallet phone case, but I took it off because when I put my phone in the phone holder, it doesn't really do really well I'll show it to you in just a second actually that did look pretty good I ain't gonna lie I'm going to I gotta get my wallet huh? I had to get my wallet we're having like a whole little party out yeah that looks good now the only other pro oh I got cash never mind oh no I forgot the whole time I have cash in my pocket. But that's uh, that's what it is right there. Pretty good, right? Like, I keep all my stuff right in there. But I did forget I had cash in my pocket, though. I usually don't have cash. That's the problem. All right, what should I get, guys? Come on, help me out. First, should we get rice? Or should we get pasta? Tailgate party, yeah. Looks good yeah, for sure. Um, Makes me hungry. I'm not even starving right now, but I know I'm gonna get in the car and we're not stopping for like four more hours. So I might as well get food while I can. Get vegetarian, heck no. I like my meat. That's what she said. Yo, thank you, Leslie. Welcome to become a menu. Hi. You got a first timer over here, so what are, what's my choices over here? And I can't see really good, so you have to tell me. 
On that one, can I do green beans and then uh, broccoli? Okay. So do you do you normally get this like pick something from each one or how does that work? Okay. Okay. I'm thinking something with like rice, um, and veggies and some meat. So do you get this as well? Yeah, I'm good with that probably. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with the brown rice. Thank you. Sounds good. Uh, what's the difference? You're talking about a rice or meat? Yeah, yeah, we could do the bigger one. That's fine. Can you always use it for leftovers, you know? <laughs> uh, I can't see. Can you tell me what the options are? Um, I'll have those three. No, no mushrooms. Just a little bit of broccoli, though. I had a lot last night. <laughs> yes. That's the whole reason I can't. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Looks pretty good. Okay, so the steak and what was the fr this chicken? Black and chicken. Um. Yeah, I don't, that's fine. Um. What's like the most popular chicken? Can I try? Can I try a piece of that black chicken? Yeah, please. Thank you. Hmm. You know, I actually really like that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh God! What are my options over here now? Yeah, that's one. Yeah, I'm good on those. What are those? What are the sauces? Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that stuff. Okay. What, what do you think between that one and uh, what was the one on the right? Yeah. Yeah. Both those sound kind of good. But I, don't, I don't know what that one tastes like. That's... Um, actually, yeah. Well, just that one. I know what the balsamic one would taste like. But this, you never know. I appreciate it. No, oh, thank you. Actually, can I just get, I'll just give me one of each and be fine. Yeah. Mm. Good, thank you. Um, nope, that'd be it. You guys have like a lid or something for that too? Awesome. You want it with a big Um yeah, 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 that's fine. Thank you. Have a good day. Appreciate it. All right. Uh go get a drink and then we'll go we'll go tailgate. Wait, where's the drinks? I don't know. They're over here. Yeah, it's these weird teas. This is what I was talking about earlier. Like blood orange tea. What do you guys like? I'm gonna read real quick. Berry, berry, raspberry, blood. Dragon fruit, sweet tea, strawberry. I'm gonna read. Read the comments. Y'all pick up my drink. What's up, Heather? Good to see you. What's up, Melissa? Uh, oh, all right, all right. I like that first comment I read. I'm gonna go straight DJing right now. You ready? Uh, 
Ah, no. <laughs> I wonder, wonder how many people have done this. Don't you go off. Ah. We're gonna we're gonna have to test that out in a minute. Get our napkins. Thank you guys for hanging out right now. I know this isn't very exciting. They have spoons, but they don't have forks. Oh, maybe they do. No, they're all spoons. Okay. I guess we're using a spoon. All right, now this is gonna be tough. Uh, hang on, let me think about this. Okay, uh, shit. It's kind of hard to hold the. You guys are gonna have to hang on a second because I don't have three hands, unfortunately. Sorry. Oh man, I totally forgot about the music in here. That's gonna suck if I get a copyright. My uh, my buddy Yasko, you guys know Yasko. He got bombarded with like 35 copyright claims one night and it was like some fictitious company that was trying to just claim the music in his videos were his even though they actually weren't. Which is kind of messed up. Ah, no. Oh, I thought you guys weren't tailgating anymore. Yeah, bro. I'm like, I missed Going it. In. Bro, you know what drink I got? What? A combination of everything. <laughs> Somebody said, no, I did like the sweet tea, but I asked everyone what drink. Uh -huh. First comment said, get get all of them. So, huh. ah, no. my bad. <laughs> Let's see what it's like. What color is that? Red? Yeah. Yo, that's bomb. Try that. James is like really, really tall. So I had this lady that I met for the first time. And she saw me and James together. <laughs> And she was like, wow, you're a lot taller than I thought you were, like when she met me in person. Uh -huh. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm standing next to James. James is like a freaking tree. Uh -huh. Hey, dude, take a sip of this, though, for real. I think it's bomb. I'm going to get my, my stand, too. Hey. Yeah. Never mind. I don't want to talk politics. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in the next live stream, in the members live stream. Okay. Yeah, in the members live stream, uh, yeah. It's too controversial. Okay. Oh, uh, got two on the chicken. Good. <laughs> chicken, the Chinese, the Chinese chicken. I thought the same shit. This is like really good healthy food, by the way. Bro, I love it. I've never been to Fresh Kitchen. I'll go again. Yeah, i never heard of it before. They got them everywhere. Do they? I think they're originally from California. Okay, so what is this again? It's a mixture of everything. Not bad. No, right? Did you spit in it? No. <laughs> you didn't mess with mine. I'm not going to mess with yours. You know what I mean? That'd be messed up. Wait, you drank that whole tea I gave you? Yeah, bro. I downed it real quick. It was Dang, good. Bro. Yeah, Al, you want to try? Hey, look at that Dude. sunset. That is awesome. What up, y'all? What's up, Aaron? How you doing? Oh, you're fine. How are you guys car, today? What's up, Aja Sims? Yo, this food bro, is, is this bomb. Dragon? It's, really a, good. it's a combination of everything. It tastes I like got, dragon fruit. I used a little All bit right. of everything. Who wants some broccoli farts? Good. Oh, good, good uh, comment with that everything. There's a parrot. It tastes just like dragon. Yeah. Now let's That's see if their good. steak is any good. Did you get any steak out? No, I got uh, barbecue mm. chicken. And, like, Look at that. Oh, it's hella good. Oh, it's so good. good. It's all like fresh veggies. I got oh, some wow. barbecue veggies. chicken. No, I got the black and chicken. Oh, I want to try the steak. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Man, it's it's a finger in my food, bro. It's kind of like a little rare. It is. A, it is a little undercooked. I think that piece I took. Yeah, but it's gonna be super tender. Or like medium rare. No, man. No, it's not bad at all. I prefer chicken and seafood. Eh, hey, no. Why you throw that <laughs> shit back in there, bro? I didn't want it to go to waste. Eh, hey, no. <laughs> Hey, uh, can you entertain my live stream for a minute while I go drain the main vein, buddy? Thanks. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go leak the lizard, you know? Okay. You really have to go caca. 
So, um, going on another trip, y'all. Bringing Al along. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Paranormal Magnet? Hey, Justin. What's up, Don? Chaney. What's up? Hey, Lynn. Wow, he has a chicken on his hat. Yeah, I do. Look at that. It says cock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said remember on Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. I don't know if you if you seen Beavis and Butthead do America, they're in this airplane and they like did some and he ends up in the cockpit where the pilots are. And he was like, get the hell out of the cockpit. And I think it was Butthead. He was like, huh, you said. And uh -huh. no. That's so funny. funny. We're Every like zombies. secretly 14 years old, like not even gonna lie. This milk right here? Is almonds, H2O, vanilla, maple, cinnamon, and sea salt. Mm. Fantastic, bro. Fantastic. Wow. Look at that sunset. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. This is a very ritzy area that we're in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very upscale location. Let me show you around. I don't know. James can't really see very well. Got some really pretty palm trees all around. Beautiful. It's actually not cold. I did put a sweater on, but I mean, us Floridians, in case you didn't know, when it drops below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, Freezing. it's like cold to us because we're just so used to wearing short sleeve shirts and shorts, things like that. Jalapenos. And then you go to this guy's farm. And it's cold. He's 20 minutes from my house. Yeah, it's cold. But the farm's like 12 degrees colder. Mm -hmm. Freezing. It's weird. Yeah, my farm is cold. I think it's because it's higher up. Oh, it's major cold. What up, Paula? Big shout out to you. Hey, Felix. Negative one here in Canada. Ugh. I love my Canadians, though. I got a lot of great Canadian friends out there. Can you please give my daughter Amanda... <coughs> shout out to Amanda. Where are you guys going? It's a secret. Secret location. And <laughs> somebody said, what a beautiful parking lot. Past light. What up, PLE? It is a beautiful parking lot. Only because yeah. the uh, sun and the palm trees, and because y'all are here. And you guys, yeah. Y'all make us guys. look good. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, I make us good looking. I was kidding. Yeah, you do. Take yeah. a few pounds off me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a pimp, bro. Handsome fella right there. Uh -huh. Me and Broccoli, though. We're gonna be stinking it up in the truck early in a little bit. Bro, this dude's farts are the worst. Nah. <coughs> we'll we'll go drive somewhere, and the whole time he's farting, story. and he'll be like, "Yeah, it's a cow pasture out there." <laughs> he's exaggerated. Uh, pretty bad. Not bad. Mm. Food's good though. What should we do to James's food while he's gone? Mm. Good question. I'm gonna hawk a look. I'm just kidding. I, I would no, never no, do, that. do that. It's like a fifteen dollar bowl of food. <laughs> was this fifteen bucks? Yeah. I thought it was like eleven. No. Well, did you get the six Ew. or the four? That was James's napkin. It was dirty. Um, I got. I don't know. It's almost gone. Whatever it is. Cool. But we just chilling. We're tailgating in the back of my truck, like legit tailgating. Look at that. Hey, you know what's cool? A lot of people don't know this about like these Ford F one fifties. Like, if you have like those beer bottles, you could. Oh. There's a opener right here. Look at that. I opened no up my way. yeah. I opened up my soda with it like earlier. No way. Anytime I go to a gas station, I went to a gas station earlier, and they had those like the Mexican glass cokes. They just they taste so good. They do taste like better. I'm not really much of a soda drinker. So like everything in glass is. Like I'm drinking like you know this water, but it's like a soda water, club um, soda, whatever. Oh, uh, sorry, kind of crooked. Is that really meant for that? Opening glass bottles? Yeah, like, well, the ones that you can't twist off. Okay. Like the... That's pretty those. cool. Shout out to Ford. Jaritos. Oh, I love Jaritos. Those are so good. What up, Summer? Big shout out to Summer. Mary, what's up? Bring on the pranks. No, no more. I mean, pranks on each other. Just no pranks on people that you don't know because you just don't know. Somebody could have a, a bad day. Interviewing drunk people. That's honestly, we need to be. Did you ever see my video? Me and James were live I did, in Ybor, Ybor City, oh, bro. and we were interviewing drunk people. It was so funny. It was on the, the like the slowest night in Ybor City. You're lucky because yeah. Ybor can be dangerous. You mess with the wrong people. 
yeah, it can be very, very dangerous. What's up, Amanda? No more pranks on food. Yeah, James is the one that does the pranks on food. He's always messing around. That's me. Hey, so um, James is kind of, he's so he's not around right now. Look, like I'm not clickbaiting. Yeah, yeah he's really doing caca. I mean, that's not what I want to say right now. But um, my boy, I'm going to South Carolina. I don't know if y'all have like, I would never do this unless like somebody really needed it. James is a very humble guy. And even when he needs help, he's never going to ask for help. But the man has an empty house with an air mattress. I'm going to be going to South Carolina probably in the next couple days after we're done filming. I might go film with him up there. But I want to try to help him get some furniture in his house. And if y'all have like his PayPal information, you want to send him like a few bucks to help with some used cheap furniture. Or hey, maybe you're in the South Carolina area and you got like a, a couch you want to you know donate to james like he has an empty house so just saying if y'all want to like you know help him out a little bit you know it's uh it's expensive like furniture is expensive so we're hoping to maybe go on facebook marketplace maybe locally i'm going to bring my truck and we're going to just try to buy the like the cheapest possible i mean i, I With nice condition fuck damn it uh, why did you turn around at that time i knew it was, i seen you Dang. Actually, scared I, me. I, sneaking up, I went all the way around. Oh, it's I, funny too. I, I saw it in the corner there. Someone like creeping up in a hoodie. And you did? Yeah, I don't know. Bro, I, there was a lady walking and she saw me. I think it like really freaked her out because I was like this, <laughs> and I was kneeling down. You're a creeper, bro. I did. I look like a creeper, 100. percent That's funny. All right, here. Take it away. Are we getting in the car? Still eat. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put it right. Hey, here they told me. me to mess with your food, but I did. That would suck. You know how much it cost? Twenty bucks. Twenty dollars here yeah. just because you got the steak. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was like seventeen something, but I tipped the other two something. That rare steak is like. Man, all what kind of shit do you have on my napkins? Huh. That was your napkin. Yeah, but well, you put something on there. No, it's this like this stuff, this sauce uh, it got on it. Yeah. I got napkins in the car. Yo, this stuff is good though. This was a nice stop. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I seen that food. We just came here to go to the bathroom. Oh, but I, Al, your phone turned I off. I seen that food. I'm like, oh, yeah. yo. Yeah, but uh, did you I, just, you kill no, the phone? Did, no, I didn't kill the phone. No, I don't have the passcode. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. oh. I got locked out. You need stuff? Uh, oh, that test was fire. I mean, like you can read some comments if you want to. I did. So after this, we're gonna do a member stream, and we're gonna get a little um, we're gonna wear our tinfoil hats for that one, for sure. Mentally wear it. Oh, that would be really good. Yeah, it's beautiful out here, bro. Where are we exactly? Uh, I don't know if I want to say. Here. We're in paradise. That's Thanks. my booger in Smart. Bro, that does look like a look, look. Look at the napkin he gives me. Yeah, I know. It literally is like some... Here, here's my used napkin. Did you literally stick this in your nose or something? Oh. Yeah, His well. name is Igor. I'll use the other side. <laughs> I did have a booger collection on one of these. Just kidding, bro. His food almost went flying. It would have flew onto me. Uh, that would have been really funny. Except this food's too good to waste. So, what do we have, like four hours of drive still? Nah. Mm -hmm. Less? Two, two, nah. Three. Three. Long drive. But. I will have the first Alien Miami video out tomorrow. And then I may be live streaming the next night. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to get this guy to live stream too. You like it? I haven't in a while. No. It's been a while. People miss you, bro. They're so busy. You have been busy. What was that? Isn't it weird? I feel like the days aren't long enough. Like everything goes by so fast. Mm. That's what she says. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's actually way better. That's a shame. Yeah, Far that's away, way though. Better. Nah, it's all right. So, you can watch us stuff our faces with food. I was gonna say, how entertaining is this right now? 
Yeah, do a mukbang. That's what I'm gonna say, mukbang, right? It's a mukbang. Yeah, shove it all in there. A tailgate mukbang. Did you feed the camera? Mm-hmm. Nice. I like it. I had a lot of broccoli, bro. Better be oh, careful. Oh, man. We're gonna have fart wars in the truck. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Bro. This guy's this stuff man, stinks dude, so this, bad. This mother That's humper. He farted in my face so much the last five. You! Oh. Yeah, yeah, we were in his office once. Bro, he was ripping ass pulled. left and right. Yeah, I pulled up behind him and pulled one leg up, you know? Bro, was it you that was right in front of me on the escalator? And blew it right in my face? No. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You no, got crop me. dusted. Yeah, I did get crop dusted. <laughs> I did. Ah, on the escalator? Bro, and I got the whole thing. That wasn't, oh. that wasn't me, bro. That was you, bro. Bro, yeah. you want to hear a funny story? The first girl I ever brought back to the house to meet my, my parents was um, my ex-wife. And first night she comes over, we're walking up the stairs. Bro, my mom rips ass right behind, like right in front of her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Totally crop dust her. And she's just, my mom was just laughing. That's yeah, funny. she got to learn a lot about my mom right then and there. You know what I mean? Bro, that test looks nice. That's beautiful. That's the same color as mine and everything. Oh, the white one? Oh. The red one. Oh, okay. Well, it's shinier because mine's dirty. Gotcha. I, I haven't it. washed mine in so long. You but guys never color. had a chance to like go in a Tesla? You have to. Especially like go fast in a Tesla. Actually, literally... I think that's a different red. Let me snap your head, ha head back. That's the new red that they got now. Wait, that's not the same red you have? No. What it's, model is that? It's the model. It's the same exact model I have, but back it looks very sporty like the how the lights are and everything it's the um the wheels are bigger and the newer ones are a little wider yeah um, do you ever you ever take like food like this like um like a pee and go wait oh you mother <laughs> hey you was trying oh, to wait. get me wait where did i get you i got you oh you got me on the neck hey i should have recorded that hey i got this video hey, from that was a good shot that was a good shot well, i got this really funny video oh you do oh, i'll show yeah. it to you Burger. We oh, were yeah. at a restaurant. I know exactly what you're gonna show. Alright, look, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I had that on Instagram. Got him with the spitball. Oh my gosh, TV on Instagram. Yep. We put a lot of funny stuff up in there. But like the stories are never, I don't think they ever stay. Like they're, oh, they only last a they day. They like expire. Yeah, they expire. Oh, that would have expired. Four hours. Yeah. Like sometimes I feel like sometimes I'll put stuff on stories and it's really good, and I should have made a post on it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think you could actually go back and review those. Or include it in a video. Mm-hmm. You can as a creator. You can. Like it saves all yours. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have some leftover for later. I'm gonna save the rest. This is so much better than being in the restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah. it is. And the weather's actually perfect. Like it's beautiful weather. Beautiful. Probably you like start a new trend. Now. You just spit him up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh no. The dude spit in my food. He did. Something came no, flying out. No, it's a piece out. of rice that came flying out of my mouth. <laughs> Is that the new trend you're talking about? You got some James seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought his tooth fell out for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. It shouldn't be funny, but it's kind of funny. I didn't mean to do that. Did you? No, I did not mean to do that. I literally like spit out. My bad. So like you're just spitting when you talk? No. You gonna eat that? It literally just flew out of my mouth. You want it? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> you a hungry boy. No, I'm good. I'm good. James will take bro, it. Bro, it's fine. It, it wasn't like in my mouth. It didn't make it in there my mouth. There you go. Mm. Oh, thanks, bro. More for I mean, me. It's yours. Hell yeah. And I even got a fork oh, somehow. Wait. I deserve that. It's all good. Nah, my bad. Hey, you know what though? I was almost done with that food. I'm not I'm not like unhappy or anything. Like I just <laughs> That was my cue to stop eating. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saving you, bro. I'm so full right now, I'm gonna pay back James with a little uh, excess gas. Oh, you definitely are. As, I'm gonna put this in the car and I'm gonna go refill my drink. <sighs> Peace.
Hello. Let me go take this care of this real quick, eh? Yeah, I got some garbage. What? You got more? You got more garbage? Uh, no. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, no, I'm good. Hey, here's a don't fuck with me sticker. Yeah, that's nice. Alright. Where should I put it, though? Right there. Right here. No, I like it down low, man. Yeah, that was good. Over the right a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Watch up, watch up. Look at me. Oh, say the word. That'd be fun. James, you're losing people on your live stream. James will be back. He's taking a Humpty Dumpty. I'm putting a sticker on my back window. Here we go. Yo, check out these uh there's like a hundred birds over here there you are yeah oh they just stopped did you hear that oh. mate that is a lot of birds you're right hey birdies oh, it's a oh shit. Oh. <laughs> i don't know that is a lot of birds though that's funny. You're a funny guy. You ever see the movie Analyze This? Oh, yeah. Whatever. What do you think? I'm funny? What do you mean? I amuse you? Is this garbage? I don't know. It's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, you're much. You're so messy. I am not messy. I met. I left the biscuit. I've been with you for. I've been with you for 10 days. How did I leave a biscuit in there for a month? 10 days ago. <laughs> I'm kind of, oh, the biscuit that um, Tip made? Yeah. Oh, I don't even, I don't even remember having, bringing that in the car. It's probably Omar's and he just forgot she gave it to him. He's uh, not having really good memory issues in his olden age. So yeah, he's very forgetful. Very, very forgetful. And if he tries doing two things at once, can't talk to him. Uh, alligator Capone, I love it. I love it too. I'm glad. I'm glad I can help you with that, bro. I'm such a dope. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alligator Capone. Yes. Oh yeah. Hey, Omar, just in time. I feel like I gotta go pee again. Well, go now before we go going. I guess. What's up, Tippy? Omar's parrot, Violet, is so cute. Hey, James and Omar, love watching you guys. I appreciate that. Yo, I was in the bathroom on the bowl. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I was uh watching the stream. Uh -huh. And uh yeah, I was over commenting under your account saying this is James uh oh, Bro, yeah. oh hey, make a comment so I can mod you. Alright, gotcha. Because I know you're not a mod. Yeah, yeah. Ghost time, yeah, that's what we're gonna do tonight. And tomorrow. We got a couple videos we're gonna go do. Hey, you're gonna kill my live stream, bro. Oh my bad, my bad. Okay. <laughs> What's up, the uh, what's that, Tim? Alright, I made a comment. Tim, oh, something the Demarco, what up, man? What up, John? Let's see, Billy. There's Al Clone. There we go. Add it to moderate. You should have a pop up. And go. God be with you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we did uh, prayers uh, when we went to um, uh, to river visit Robert the Doll. You know what really freaked me out was <clears throat> Omar said that Robert the Doll is supposed to be more haunted than Annabelle. And Annabelle, you guys remember. I got invited there. I was actually the first YouTuber to go there. And I stand in front of that damn doll and I started feeling so sick. I had to go vomit outside. Then I felt fine. Then I went back in there. And then a couple minutes after, I'm standing in front of it again. Bro, I had to throw up again. So I ran out. Poof, a freaking projectile vomiting. Now let me ask and I waited you. like 30 minutes, bro. I went back in again. Guess what? Threw up again? Fucking had to go throw up again, too. Let me ask you, did the air feel like thicker around her? Hmm. Like, was the energy, like, could you feel it off her? I did feel something in the air, yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't know if that's how you I would describe it, but there was, like, a heaviness, for sure, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I did not like it at all, bro. I, I Even the even the, the owner there, which is, like, uh, the what is it, the son of Ed and Lorraine Warren? Son-in-law. Son-in-law, yeah. He was, like, what is he doing? <laughs> he was, like, we're not going to let you back in there anymore just for your own good. He's like, we, we need to stop you from going back in there. Because I kept trying to go back in there, and it was just the weirdest thing. I don't know. Well, anyways, he said Robert the Doll is even more haunted. And uh, it kind of freaked me out. So he did some prayers. And let me tell you, I do like how they have Robert the Doll set up in there. Because he's kind of facing up toward the air. So you can't really look in his eyes. But it's something really crazy happened. We were freaking out while we were filming. And... We thought maybe it was the owner doing it or something, or the, the lady that was working there, and it wasn't her. And she like she's I I thought oh maybe this there's a glitch and this happens often. She said she don't ever had anybody ever say that before. Did I tell you what happened? No. For real, I'll tell you after the live stream. It's pretty got, crazy. I visited Robert when I was. 12, Did you? Huh? Yeah. No way. Oh, so was at a different house old. then though? I was at the artist's house, right? No, he was. In oh, the, he's in still the there. Uh, what yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking in about. Fort, yeah, in the fort. fort, yeah. But you got to be careful with Robert because those of you who don't know, he could put a spell on you and give you bad luck, and it could turn mm. out really. Awkward. I know. Um, my friend Josh, exploring with Josh, yeah, he had a really bad experience with Robert the doll. Oh, um, I think Colin did too. Maybe I'm mixing that up, but I don't know. Where's this guy? Uh, where's this guy? Where's he hiding at? Where'd my comments go? Um, hmm. Oh no, we have 666 people watching. I don't know. Um, let me see if I can change the brightness. Oh, I can. Perfect. What's that name right there? I can't read it, Al. Oh, I don't know. That one. Uh, T-Rod. T-Rod, thank you so much for that super sticker. That's very kind of you. Appreciate that. You're my two favorite YouTubers. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, you also on, so you have monetization on your channel, right? Yeah, you know? of course. So you know, um, have you ever seen before? Like, I know it's big on Twitch, where you can guest, you can pay. Like, they have like almost like here on YouTube where they have the members program. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, you could gift subs. Yeah, you can gift subs. I seen that on YouTube the other day. It said um, you have to actually um, be like. A, not apply for it, but like if you're watching right now and yeah. somebody gifted subs, if you have a certain thing clicked, you're you you can actually get one of those free subs. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've never I've never seen that before, but I just seen it oh, the other day. Yeah. So Twitch they had a thing where, like, if you bought off of Amazon, it was some promo you could, or you had an Amazon Prime account, you uh -huh. could go on to Twitch and actually sub to your favorite Twitch streamer for free. Oh wow. Because it costs six dollars on Twitch. 
Well, I yeah. think they changed the price too. I swear my member's price used to be five bucks. Yeah. And I think it's like six. I don't know. Let me know. I think it's like six or six something. No, I didn't tell it to go up. <laughs> you just clicked it now. Okay. Yeah, there is something to click. I thought so. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mary. What's up, B? I was telling him what's about that Robert the Doll story and like how we like prayed and stuff too, because of what happened with Annabelle and prayer worked though. It did. Yeah, we were good. Nothing bad happened to us, except for the Greg specials. <laughs> oh yeah. I see you live at night from the Netherlands. Yo, appreciate you watching Daniela from the Netherlands. That's what's up. What's up, Suzanne? Oh, it is $4.99 still. Okay. For some reason, I thought it, like, charged more. That's good. That's super good. What's up, B? Let's see how long we've been in life for. It's actually a steal. $4.99 to be a member? Yeah, I just, I need to start doing, like, I need to redo my member program. Have you done redone yours in a while? Right. Like, new stickers, maybe, and, like... Bro, you know, I need to get new merch made and stuff. And Bro, I mean, um, people have been asking me for merch forever since, like, I've done turn merch, right like, two or three times where I've had it made up myself. Then use the roundabout to make um, a turn. I do need to do that, too. I should do that. So much stuff to do. There is. I don't know. We'll see. Got a lot of driving left. Use the roundabout to make a U-turn. You think a plane made that line in the sky, or that's just natural? Probably um, moving. Gonna, cool. Pretty it is really nice here. Round and round we go. Can't wait to see the new videos. Yeah, I'm gonna be working on that tonight, guys. I will work on that tonight. I promise I'll get that up for you guys. Hey, I got a few places for you guys. Might be interested in along. But uh, besides the Queen Mary being haunted, there is a couple more places. That's supposed to creep. Hey, you know what's funny about that? So Omar and I are actually going to be coming out. Back. We're, we're going to be going back out to California in uh, a couple of weeks. In like two to three weeks. So that'd be cool. Bro, you want to go back to the phase rug tunnel? We, we should. We should, down. we should go back to the Buffalo Bills. Oh, <laughs> bro. I am totally down. My video did really well there. Did it? Yeah. That was a cool place. Bro, we should go in with your sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> hey, would, what would you guys think of, say, like, Omar and I were, like, <clears throat> at a casino, you know, they don't allow you to film, right? Well, Omar got these new glasses that look like regular glasses, not sunglasses, like regular glasses, and you can't see the camera in there. Like, that, I think that would be cool, like, secretly recording. Yeah, that would be cool. Be cool. Like, showing all the people, like, um... Watching us lose our money? Yeah, I, I don't lose money when I go to the casino. I... I know how to money manage you've never lost going to the casino yeah this guy's going to the left. casino and he then turns money into right like to merge gold. Onto I gold and if i lose I, if i do lose because you do have some bad days sometimes i just hey you're playing with house money that's all that's, that's all good I look at it is like you know hey i got this 50 bucks if i lose it i had fun you know what I mean? very true you just go for fun exactly yeah you gotta yeah you gotta i would never suggest anybody ever gambling to make money if you're gonna gamble use it as your uh your um entertainment do money. it for fun well, yeah, your entertainment money. Just assume you're going to lose it and only bet that amount that you're happy you losing for entertainment. That's a great thing. It is, yeah. 100%. It's not a good investment. It is a horrible investment. And like 90, 95 times out of 100, you're going to lose. So Except for this guy. He's like 95 out of 100, he wins. <laughs> I've never seen anybody so lucky in my life. Hey, make it too. hey can, I, can, I tell him, can I tell him about what, what, what happened? That really crazy thing that happened the other day? What crazy thing? Uh, the sevens, blazing sevens? Nah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one. All right. Like we, you guys are going to have to wait for that one. We don't play slot machines. We like edge play like on stuff that has yeah. good odds. Al is a pro. How do you know? They know you're a pro, bro. Yes, I do, uh, I do well in the casino. Pro street perform performer. Be careful. That's all I got to say. Even the best. Literally. See, I like playing poker tournaments. That's my thing. I, I, I seem to like, I love poker. But my problem is if I played poker like at a cash table, people just play so strange and like I always lose. But if I play like poker, not like I don't play poker anymore, unless I play in a poker tournament because everyone starts with the same amount and I feel like people play more properly in tournaments. And Poker's like, fun. My game is good with that. It is. It is fun. Yeah, it's a fun game. Especially, especially when you pull in those big pots. 
Me and James would be playing each other for like 20 bucks. We right. did. We were we were playing for fun, and uh, I got toasted. No. no. <laughs> it was like back and forth. It was back and forth. We, we, we literally, like, just us and a couple of friends, we played, and, like, we played all night long, and at the end, we, like, basically all broke even. Yeah, so, we did. So, hey, yeah. you guys were playing and going back and forth? For 20 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had that awkward silence in there. I like it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, dude, that was kind of funny, though. I think it was. Going back and forth. That's what she said. What's he's up, a, Dignity? He's a giver and a receiver. Oh, yeah? Top and bottom? <laughs> oh. I get to be on top. I play penny spot slots, and I do quite well. Yeah, I like the idea of the penny slots. Although, like, yeah, you think you could go play for a penny? No, it's like a penny, but like the lowest yeah, is like seventy five bucks. Man, to bet. stay away from slot machines. Yeah, yeah slot machines know. are. Uh, they do have penny slots where it's really one set. No, -uh. yeah, really. Yeah, you put twenty bucks. I've never seen one. Where have you? Like where is this at? They have them locally. In the they do. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I didn't know that. Because I thought those machines, like, every time I go, it's like the minimum bet is 75 Actually, credits. Know, that'd probably be good for you, James. <laughs> what are you low trying to risk. say, Al? It's just low risk. That's all I'm trying to say. What are you trying to say? You know what the best risk is? Me not going. That's yeah, the best risk. That is. What's up, Carly? Good to see you. Hey, Jared. Hope you're feeling better, bro. Hello from UK, England. That's what's up, Becky. Hope you're doing good over there. Hey, did you guys see the... um? The piano player that did the live stream and um he had these like chinese people come up to him and tell him like he had to delete the video and stuff did you guys see that you didn't see that i was not you either no. have any of you guys seen that it's like this last week this guy he actually has like a lot of subscribers and he does like live streams at those public places with a piano and plays like really cool music yeah well he um he's doing a lot he's doing a live stream he's playing piano well all of a sudden these like three Chinese people that had like Chinese communist flags with them waving them around and stuff and they apparently were from the the news station in China and you know in China like the government controls the news well they literally are Bro, not even in his live stream and they the stream. literally go out of their way to walk up to the live stream okay now you haven't even seen them till this point walk up to the live stream and then say sir we need you to delete that footage we have a deal with your government. We're not we, we, we're not allowed to be shown on TV. So we're going to politely ask you to delete your video, even though it's already a live stream and it's already out there. And the guy was actually kind of cool with him. He's like, but I don't have to do that. It's a free country. Like, you know, I'm here. But what no one ever said was these people weren't even in the shot until they walked up and said they don't want to be on camera. Well, duh, don't walk up and say you don't want to be on camera and you wouldn't have been. Anyways, it got really crazy. The cops were called, and the cops actually sided with the Chinese people. Like, yeah, you, you're putting this on YouTube. Yeah, can't do that. And he was like, yes, I can. So finally, they ended up just having to leave. Well, the thing blew up after that. It started getting millions of views. And then, like, the actual um, lady came out and made a video um, saying, yeah, he was trying to do this, make a video for um, commercial purposes. And it's like they were recording, too. What the hell? She works for the CCP News. What do they think? That's not commercial. Anyways, his channel started getting botted with thousands of comments and stuff saying how racist he is and stuff. And they're like bot accounts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of you guys have probably seen it. It went pretty viral this week, but I don't see it. I'll have to show it to you. It's actually wild. But I appreciate all the likes, guys. We got 775 likes. That's what's up. Yeah, that wasn't too cool. That was in the UK somewhere. Oh, is that my boy Glenn? Ten dollar nip slip, Glenn. Oh, bro, it went up again. Inflation, man. Bro, we used to do five dollar nip slips, five bucks, and then you had to go to ten. I didn't realize, but recently it went to twenty. Glenn, you must be banking, bro. <laughs> you must be making lots of money, bro. This traffic's gonna be like this the whole time. I hope. The whole thing is ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. It was really crazy. Hi from Florida. That's what's up. That's where we're at. We in Florida. K 
Ken from Queen Mary says hi. Yo, what's up, Ken? From Queen Mary? Yeah, that's his name on YouTube, too. It says Mayhem Ken from Queen Mary says hi. <laughs> Wait, that's his YouTube name? That's his YouTube name. Interesting. That's dope. What up, Ken? Good to see you, bro. That must be uh, one of the guys that we met there last time we were there. Well, I mean, you know that Mary's a queen. Like, uh -huh. the, oh, yeah, that's it. Hey, <laughs> Stephanie, what's up? She said, would love to do a video with you guys. Yo, that would be awesome. If we get up to Jersey, you got it. Stephanie's very sweet. We uh, we met her, I think, a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, Glenn said donations. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, inflation. James, I did pray for you with your eyesight. Yo, I really appreciate that, Tina. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep needing that. What's up, Eduardo? We're going to be joining you in California. I heard there was, like, a lot of earthquakes recently in California. Like, they've been having one, like, almost every day. Rode his bike. Oh, that's the guy that rode his bike. Remember at the Queen Mary? He rode his bike. He had his dog with him. Oh, yeah. That's who Ken is. Yeah. With the little dog. Yeah, oh, Ken. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing good, man. That was cool. This guy, okay, so Omar and I were at the Queen Mary, right? And I did a live stream. I want to say that morning, or maybe we put a post. This guy rode him and his and his dog on his bike for what, like, it was like 10 was, miles or something? It was a, a while. Yeah, yeah he rode a bunch of miles. Um, and then he was hanging out there for a couple of hours, like, waiting to see if we left, because we were going to leave that morning. And he saw us coming out. And, yeah, we spent, like, a good 30 minutes or so with him. It was, it was really cool. Say hi to your dog. Yeah, I almost remember his dog's name, but I, I can't. It's like on the tip of my tongue. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. You should come to Texas. Yo, that would be cool. Did we? Did you ever do Goatman's Bridge before? Mm -hmm. You have? During the day with Amy and... Oh, oh yeah, Amy and Miss Giggles. Yeah, it was haunted by mosquitoes, though. <laughs> More than God. The mosquitoes literally drove us out of there. Dang. That was terrible. Joylet Prison, you guys would love it. I've heard of that. Joylet Prison? Juliet. Juliet Prison? Yeah, You've been there. right outside of Chicago. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I'm actually, I'm supposed to be meeting up with some, someone in Chicago soon. That reeking? Uh, oh, he's up there too. You're right. Oh, dang. I'm going to have to hit him up. Get out of the haunted toilet paper. Get, uh, get, out, get out the haunted toilet paper. <laughs> no, that's what Glenn said. So, this is a funny story. So, Glenn flew over from the UK to spend a couple weeks with us. We had so and we, Yeah, we took him to so many haunted locations. This is when we were doing abandoned stuff. And we went to this abandoned prison. And, bro, we had this thing. Whenever we went to abandoned places, I swear to you. It was an asylum. Or was it a prison? Uh, oh, yeah, it was an asylum. Yeah, you're right. But every no, time no, we... No, it was a No, I think you're right. No, you're right. It was an asylum. It was. You're right. Um, but anytime, anytime we'd go to these places, I swear to you, maybe we're just nervous or scared, but we always had to take a dump when we got there, right? <laughs> umpty dumpty. Bro, the kind of places we went, you don't even want to know. But, so, <laughs> so we're at, me and Glenn are separated with Omar, and I swear this was at the prison. Let me know, Glenn. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was what he said. But we found this old, nasty roll of toilet paper. It had to be, like, 30 years old. Like, somebody probably used it as a, uh... Uh, what do they call those things? A Phoebe? A Phoebe? You know, you never know, but I, it, it was pretty gross. Anyways, I stuck it in my bag, right? I was going to do something with it. Well, we go to this castle. It's called Greenback Castle. Really, really cool place. As soon as we get there, Omar has to take a dump. <laughs> so he goes behind the castle. I was like, oh, bro, I got some toilet paper for you. Threw it to him. He comes back. He's like, hey, all happy and stuff. I'm like, hey, guess what? Uh, you want to know where that toilet paper came from? And we told him. And what'd you say? He was like, "You should have seen his face." He was like, "So happy." And then, hey, I'm just thankful. I feel I like my ass paper. has been violated. Is what he said. Yeah, it was like 20 year old toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When he found out, when he found out where we got it from, yo, it was, me and Glenn were cracking up. Yeah, I did. I don't violated. even know if I got that on camera. I don't think I did. Did I, Glenn? I might have that on camera. I have oh, to there's ask probably Glenn. so much bacteria on that. <laughs> Right. That was messed up. It was the prison. It was Brushy Mountain. Yeah, I got it at Brushy Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Glenn just said that. Yeah, it is right. I did get it at Brushy Mountain. It was like a, a few days before we went to, um, because we were in Tennessee. And then we went to Greenback Castle there in Knoxville. 
Yeah, I do know what you're saying though. We did do these um, asylums. It was like this huge abandoned property had like, I don't know, several buildings that were like old asylums. Yeah, that was dope, that place. That was so cool. Yeah, I liked it there. That's funny though. What's up, Corey? Good to see you. Everyone's laughing. <laughs> do you know that female mosquitoes are the ones that bite? Did you know that? I did. Sonia just told us. Hey, we need more male mosquitoes. 907 mm -hmm. for life. Yeah, we do. Gotta go have fun. Yo, I appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you. The Entity is the one brilliant movie. Nice. Nova Scotia. Yeah, I put it on, on the video. I guess I did film that. Love the clown. Oh, we actually have a video coming out soon from the clown hotel. And um, our, our friend Mo Sergi went to. I had a lot of people guys messaged us to me, but he went to the clown hotel and he got into a huge like fight with the owner. Like the owner was like yelling and stuff and kind of like got kicked out. Well. Omar and I went and filmed there kind of like a week or two after that happened and we found out what actually happened. Um, I can't tell you until the video, but um, I, it actually makes more sense. It now, makes right? sense. Yeah. It makes sense. I understand why the owner was mad. And, and it was nothing that, um, yeah, yeah, it was nothing that Mo did. Um, it was just some weird stuff. Yeah, it's a weird, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to explain it. The now. owner still overreacted. He did kind of overreact, but I understand why he overreacted. Yeah, he was being protective and it's, it's fine. Should I, should I tell him, like, the gist of it or no? If you want. So, somebody passed away in the particular room that Bo was filming in literally, what, a day or two before? It was before? the day before. It was literally the day yeah. before somebody died in that room. So, when the owner saw that they were filming in that room. But, but, the, the, but somebody had took him in that room. It wasn't so, one of the employees for the Climb Hotel. Yeah actually took him in there like it was a good idea and when the owners found out he was not happy and like i said i can understand maybe like a respectful thing like it just happened like it's i kind of like what we do is a little like edgy sometimes but there is a line where like it just happened the day before you know but the the, the employee is kind of one that like should not have offered that or even mentioned that information but Anyhow, that's kind of the, the, the idea, but you'll, you'll find out more in the video. I don't think he mentioned that somebody had died in that room the day before. I don't think he mentioned it in his video, no. Even Mo, like, I think out of respect. But yeah. I, I don't think he even knew. I, I could be wrong. He found out later on, like, that's why the owner was, like, so upset. Yeah. Shout out from Kissimmee. That's what's up, Susan. You going to the Pro Bowl this weekend? That would be dope. There's a fine line between ghost hunting and paparazzi. And that's kind of true. Hello from Norway. What up? Good to see you. Appreciate you hanging out. The house is located in Culver City. Hmm, I've heard of that. We're 30 minutes from you? Yeah, not too far. Stop and go traffic, unfortunately. Yeah. Sucks. I do. Watch out for a head on collision. My husband said that his boys are going to kick their asses. Ah, uh, the, the clown motel. Hey, James from Tennessee. I'll be praying for you guys. The surgery goes well through. I appreciate that. Some local told them after Mo and them left the clown motel. Oh, got you. That's what happened. So the owner's the only one that knew that at the time, I guess, or I guess the employee did. Love the Waverly Hills. Yeah, that was a cool place. 49ers, maybe. Hey, put a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Don't give put, advice. put your rent money on the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Advisors. No. Hey, you know what? The last video, though, purposes the only. last video did come in. I mean, the psychic was right. Yeah. And what did the psychic say? The 49ers, she felt, was going to win the Super Bowl. But... I mean, that's she no, that's she not didn't guaranteed. say that. She didn't she say didn't? That, that in my video, though. Oh. oh, okay. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe she's just saying she really liked the 49ers in that one game. You should make an, you gonna make another video about the Super Bowl? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. She's gonna do another reading. I also want to know if she likes the over or under. <laughs> <laughs> At least that pays three and a half to one if you do both. <laughs> Degenerates. Oh, gosh. Go Niners. The employee knew and he got fired for it, sadly. Oh, no. 
No, he didn't get fired. No, because we went there a week after, and he was there. <laughs> yeah, he was actually a nice guy. It was like a, it just literally was a big misunderstanding. What's good, fam from Bradenton? I think he was like also like a fan of Moe's. So, you know what I mean? When he saw Moe, he's probably like, "Oh, I got you know. Let me let me let me let you do this." Um, hey, did you guys ever see the Super Bowl back in 1989 when Cause on a block was doing i have for the 49 i don't know what the heck that means when cause on a block was doing i have time for the 49ers yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand that hell no on the niners yo the Chiefs are the are the i mean they do be winning a lot y'all need to watch ripping friends cartoon like ren and stimpy i've never been a ren and stimpy guy I wonder when the Bucks played the Chiefs in the Super Bowl that one year, mm -hmm. who was the favorite to win that game? Oh, I'm sure the Chiefs were. I think the Chiefs were because they remember were? the Bucks didn't even win the division that year. Yeah. They were a wild card team. They were, wild they were, wild they were underdogs team. the whole way, probably. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Some people probably lost their ass on that. Oh, yeah. I'm betting on that. Oh, I forgot to tell you, bro. I have a picture, right? They just came out with the Super Bowl logo for next year. Never going to believe the colors. That's what the colors are. I don't know. It's already out. Green and red. Orange. Orange. Teal. And white. Orange, teal, and white. Miami, Miami Dolphin Dolphins. colors. Uh, Bro, and if you look at it, it's to you totally see Miami Dolphins. Now, are they trying to... Who's got the the teal? Well, I mean, the, I know the teal, the white. The Dolphins have white in their logo, too. I know, but that, isn't it a mixture of two teams? Well, that's how it's supposed to be, but... It also, it probably is representing an NFL, an NFC team. But yeah, but where's orange also? Mm. Bucks. Mm. And it has there. white in it too, right? Yeah. Bro, maybe a Dolphins Bucks Super Bowl. That's our, me and Omar's dream, is for both our teams to go play in the Super Bowl together. We could have had it happen this year. Like, both our teams were in the playoffs. Dude, that would be awesome. Be so cool. We are gonna go to the, if they have that Super Bowl ever, we're gonna go. Definitely. We'll find a way. Sorry, but Taylor Swift is a no-go when it comes to the Super Bowl. I feel you on that. Yo, what's up, Paranormal Nightmare TV series? Good to see you. Hey, that's my boys. Yeah. He says, sup, Paranormal peeps. Go subscribe, man. Go subscribe to their... Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. That was a cop coming. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, you're the running back. You can go after your boy. Oh, he, is he pulling him over? Or he's just trying to get him to move he's out of the way. To move. That's what I think, too. What do you want to move over? Get out of the way, you dummy. Move, bro. bro, what are you doing? There you go. He's got the ball. Homer's at the 20. <laughs> the 30. He's at the 40. Go with the blocker. Hey, we're clearing traffic. No, hey, don't get I don't know. Ah, no, get up there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hey, everyone's saying hello to Paranormal Nightmare TV. That's what's up. Love you guys' videos. What's up, Claudia? Claudine? Tammy. Shout out to Canadian fam. Sonia, what's good? Look at this freaking guy. You think that cop is like on official business right now, or you think he like oh, literally trying know. to get home? Yeah, it was a fire chief. Oh, it was a fire. Oh, gotcha. That's a good point. I'd be seeing them, like, turn on their lights just to get through rebels. Nah, it's so illegal. Yeah, yeah Julie, illegal. we heard about Brian. Rest in peace, man. That's very sad. That's very sad. Very sad. We all we all felt that for sure. Haunted ta t Tattoo Shop. I never heard of that. Haunted Tattoo Shop. Yeah, that sounds like a good video for my buddy Carlos. would love that. You think so? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You call me Carlos? No. Yeah, Carlo, not Carlos. Carlo. Carlo. Yeah, most friend. Oh, gotcha. He loves videos like that. People getting off work or something. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. Hey, he might be going to a fire. You never know. So what's your plans for uh, your YouTube channels in 2024, Mr. Omar Gosh TV? 
Oh, really? Oh, that sounds really interesting. Omar. Was it an interview or an interrogation? No, it was, <laughs> it was just a question. No, that's right. Um, Thought you had some exciting stuff coming up this year. Uh, it's a surprise. Somebody said, James, the board looks good. Oh, the beard looks good. Thank you, Susan. Appreciate that. It's Joe Lee. Go banker here. Love to board. meet you guys. That would be awesome. Damn, I, I prefer haunted Susan. brothels. Ah, that's funny. I like that hemp. Hemp said he prefers the haunted brothels because the rates are cheap. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, the biggest fan in the world. I appreciate that, Optiplex. That's so nice of you. Chicago has one. The chicken hat is making me hungry. <laughs> That's funny. He got that down at the Miami Mall, actually. That was there the night the supposed aliens were there. It was. Hey, they could have touched that hat, believe it or not. I want to take that hat to the second. That's a good idea. It's actually a good idea. I don't know. My comments disappeared. There we go. Susan says cheers. Steve, what's up, man? From the UK. Good to see you. James and Omar are my favorite. Appreciate that, John Kelly. Hey, I've seen comments from Fluffy a couple of times. Is Fluffy comedian Gabriel Iglesias? No, I don't think that's the same Fluffy. But shout out to my boy Fluffy, though. Haunted hat. Where did Omar get the hat? Yeah, Miami. James, it's security from... Brandon Mall, what's up? The mall is haunted. Oh yeah? Shoot me an email about that. Maybe we could go make a video. That'd be good. Hey, remember we had some friends that we met at We the did. Mall? Yeah. That's not is that the same mall? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe that's them. James, the original court jester. <laughs> you guys going live is good for my mental health. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm glad we could help. It shows that there's a lot more crackpots out there, I guess. No, we just like to have fun. And we like to embarrass each other too, which is a lot of fun. Paranormal Nightmare TV says, where are y'all headed? We are headed south to a location we can't talk about. But, yeah. Can't say it live, because, yeah. But, we're going to a place. Somewhere haunted. Somewhere haunted, yeah. Uh, sky blue waters. Yo, that sounds very nice. We're in Florida. James Butt is haunted. This is what I know. <laughs> you should try Omar's. True story. Very true. Traffic sets on I-75 at this time of day. Hey, we good now. I would totally freak out if Omar's hat was to throw sparks and then a portal was to open in their car. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. What an I was just about to say that. What an imagination. Uh, hello, James. Love watching your videos from Ohio. Thank you, Carrie, so much. Hey, Summer. The tattoo shop is in Jersey. Oh, you can send a link. Yo, send me a link because my friend Chris Starr, she'd probably love to make that video. What do you think? Probably. Yeah. On a tattoo shop? She loves tattoos. And she's in Jersey. And she's in Jersey. Yeah, exactly. Actually, you know where she's at right now? Colorado. She messaged me this morning because she's in. She's going to Victor. And she want to go back to that abandoned house where the chair moved. Colorado's like one of my favorite states. That alien thing in Miami was scary. Yeah, we have our videos coming out tomorrow with all the interviews. So can't wait to show that to you guys. We met you guys in Brand Bradenton Mall a hot minute ago. Omar remembers. Yeah, I remember. Brandon Mall. Yeah, I remember. Um, they were the two Puerto Rican dudes, right? Yeah, the Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, we talked to you guys for like an hour. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Um, one of them was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot the one guy's name, but he, um, he got, he had to like get physical therapy and stuff and he can't like, I hope, I hope he's better. I was pretty Yeah, I hope he's doing yeah, better, bro. Come to Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, being to Springfield, Mass. I don't think I've ever been in Missouri. Bro, Missouri is, that's probably my number one state. Really? Missouri? Wait, what have you filmed there? Is that um, pretty? I filmed uh, Missouri <laughs> State Penitentiary. 
Yeah, oh, nice. Bro, we need to go back to... um. Bro, remember you paid for that really expensive place for us to film? Oh, yeah. Well, we need to go back there, bro. Yeah, yeah we should do that. Um, <laughs> Somebody just came up with a funny title. And I lost it. How do you not like a Red Bull or something? Like, like, Dude, I'm tired, too. You need me to drive, bro? I'm flying to drive, but it's got, like, kind of groggy. Mm. I'm a truck driver. You know? Yeah, I'm good. Still bad, but I need to put my cock hat back on. Yeah, put that cock back on your head. Yeah. <laughs> Omar was looking at a bunch of hats. He's like, which one do you like the most? I'm like, I like that one. Yeah. There was one that had a goat on it. Yeah, the goat. Like yeah. The goat too. He's like, yeah, I'd be like the goat, you know, greatest of all times. <laughs> it's actually kind of smart hat. Plus, I'm a goat daddy. You are a goat daddy. He goes on the goat daddy every day. Okay, so to any of my members that are here right now, okay, I have a question for you. Would you prefer me to go live right after I end this live stream in a few minutes? Put a one in the chat. And for the members, if you think I should wait till tonight from like where we're staying tonight or something and do a live stream from there, put a two in the chat. So, yeah, but I'm only counting the members' uh, votes. Just because I know they're the ones that kind of got to hide that one. But, I mean, you can still leave a vote. But I'm going to see which one they prefer. We're going to a secret location. Okay, I got a two from Glenn, a one from Missy. Glenn, you can only vote once, buddy. You vote like three times. <laughs> okay, you voted like six times. Nice try. Okay, two. I'm live. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my battery died and I didn't even realize it. So I'm going to let you guys go. And I, I ca only counted the three. Um, and I think you guys prefer more to do it later, which I think actually you'll enjoy more if I do it later. So uh, I will do a members live stream later tonight. Um, not too late, though. I'll try to do it. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll put a I'll post up on the uh, members. But I'm going to let you go. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Make sure you check out my boy Al Capone, a.k.a. soon Love to be saying. Alligator Al. And yeah. my boy Omar Alligator Gosh TV. No, Alligator Capone. Alli oh, Alligator Capone, yeah. Alligator Capone. Alligator, Alligator Al. <laughs> Alligator Al. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for keeping us company. I appreciate it. Love, love you, fam.